sorry about the uh, brief delay there uh, in terms of actually getting stuff started. Oh god, what keys? I've been trying to. Uh, try, I was trying to get the stream set up to a uh, good place. Oh god, what key is it? What key is it to hide the HUD? I'm used to like space engineers now, not this. I've been away long, too long. Is it like F9? There we go. Oh, it's used to Planet Coaster. That was what I was thinking of. Uh, yes. Anyways. Um, that introduction was a little odd. It held, I held it at zero for a little bit longer than I probably should have. Um, yes, this is No Name Moon 7 Spore, and today, uh, for the first time in about a month, a uh, month minus like five days or so, I am finally back with some From the Depths. And, yeah, what happened was, just for the past month, I've been really tired. And uh, there's been, like, a couple of projects I've been trying to work on. And uh, just not making a lot of progress on them. Like, I was trying to get some aircraft carriers done. And I, I, I hate to say it, I kind of hate building aircraft carriers in From the Depths. Or, like, I feel like they're the most boring ship class to build for whatever reason. I just don't like doing it. Um, so it, it is for the thing. It is for, you know, this project, the... Uh, AR project I'm working on, which, uh, you know, Pincor here was built for. Um, but today I want to build an anti-aircraft cruiser for this. Um, this one will be uh, Coquitlam, as you can see on the top of the screen right now. Um, technically the Abbotsford class, even though none of the ships were actually called that. And also, uh, hello there, Midnight Shade. So bad at this game. Yeah, I guess, uh, watch, and it can kind of help. I still haven't uploaded the Pincourt livestream on YouTube yet. I need to do that. I'm going to pull Pincourt a little bit further away. But I want to keep Pincourt here, because I want to grab parts off of her to use on the, uh, cruiser. And you should be a fleet. And you should not move. Pincourt, do not... Don't go away from me. Man, though, that, man, though, that's a gorgeous destroyer. I'm sorry. I'm happy with how Pincor turned out. That was one stream. I'm going to see if I can one stream this. I probably cannot. Um, but I'm hopeful. I will have to get food if I am going to do that, though. So, we're looking at a... Uh, looking at a light cruiser, an anti-aircraft cruiser here. Basically, I think the closest real-life comparison would be a Juno class. Um, I think, right? Because you get the, uh, yeah, six times dual, five inch, 38 caliber gun. So you have three forward, um, all of them super firing, three aft, all of them super firing. So that would be, yeah, I think that is probably the closest class of ship. Although the aft ones on Juno weren't super firing. Um, I guess technically they could fire over each other. Um, Atlanta's pretty close too. Uh, and a Dito is pretty close. It's probably going to look a little bit more similar to Dito than anything, though, because they have to build it uh, stylistically Canadian, which would be a cross between American and British. Um, but the Dito's only had five of the twin guns, while the Atlanta's had eight of them, eight of the twin five inch turrets. So this will have, you know, six. Um, like in Atlanta with two less guns. I guess that might be in Oakland. Maybe the Oakland subclass was like that. I think so. I think the Oakland decided to get rid of the two side guns. We're also putting torpedoes on her, and I still need a better torpedo model at some point. Um, I will probably have to make that. Will become the Flint. All right. Yeah, yeah, Flint was in Oakland. So... Flint was the third of the Oakland class. Alright, so we're working with 7,800 tons. I think that's uh, more based off of full load. Uh, histo the historical Atlanta was 7,400. The Juno was um, 8,450 fully loaded, uh, 650 standard. Atlanta was 6,718 standard and uh, some 400 loaded. Wait, hold on, those are long tons versus normal tons. Hold on. 
Long ton to ton. Is it... Is it... Hold on. Long ton is an imperial ton, apparently. Alright. But then there's a US ton and a metric ton. Imperial ton... I'm confused. Okay, so an Imperial ton is 1.112 US tons, but it is 1.01605 metric tons. So, if we're looking at this... If the displacement is in US tons for the uh, Juno, in Atlant or for the Juno, then uh, it's fine if it's uh, only... Is that fine? I don't know. They don't have to multiply anything, but the, if that's US tons, then... I guess that's technically heavier, or the that's is technically lighter. I don't know. Uh, Dido, for a comparison, was uh, anywhere from looks like five five hundred to five eight hundred long ton standard. Or actually, five six hundred to five eight six three ton standard, and then um, seven thousand two hundred to seven thousand five hundred at a full load. As an additional comparison, I'm going to be throwing in the Leander class cruisers, which were uh, seven thousand three hundred long ton standard and nine thousand seven hundred full load. Okay, so those are some relatively. Those are some cruiser classes we can compare it to. I'll take a quick look at the emeralds. Emeralds are about the same as a Leander. Um, I, I'm looking at this for the dimensions. I'm trying to get the dimensions down. I think I think this one's a little bit heavy, more heavily armored than typical, like Atlanta or something. At least in game terms. All right. So Leander is how long? How long is Leander? Uh, one six nine long with seventeen meter beam and six meter drought, roughly. Uh, Dito Dito would be. Let's see, about 5 to 6 meters deep load, beam of 15 meters, and length of 156. A Juno is 165 meters long, 16 meter beam, 6 meter draft, and an Atlanta is 165 meters overall, uh, 16 meter beam, uh, 6.25 meter draft. So what I'm getting with this is that our draft is probably 6 meters. So six meters of the hull is going to be underwater, painted red, and then we have the black water line, and then we have the rest of the ship above that. I think that is fair. In terms of length, um, based on what I'm seeing, I would not be surprised if we were talking about maybe about an 170 meter long ship here. Uh... Although that would be dimensionally similar to a Leander. Um, we might be looking at something dimensionally similar to a Leander. We're looking at about 165 to 170 meters long, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I think going with the Leander's dimensions. You know, 6 meter drought, 17 meter beam. May, maybe we'll go like 168 meters long. 100, yeah, 168 meters long will be fine. All right. So, we are currently length 4 with 9, height 1. So, I'm going to start adding some of this to it. And just start stretching out the keel in both directions. And once we hit 168 meters, I will stop. Because that will be the overall length of the ship. Um, but I want to get this so that the middle section here is, you know, actually in the middle of the ship. In the rough middle, so that when I spawn it in, you know, it's not badly offset to the bow or stern. Alright, so this, this here is the total length of the ship. Let's save our vehicle. Um, CL. Um. I'll call it Abbotsford Coquitlam. Because it's kind of has both names. Alright.
Okay, so we'll... Okay, we need to... Uh, okay, I... How am I going to do this? Okay, I have mod 3D models of uh, the Dido class and the Atlanta class up on uh, Sketchfab on my other monitor, and I'm not, show I'm not sure I'd be allowed to show them to you, but you can easily search them. You can easily go to, like, Sketchfab.com and type in, you know, Dido class cruiser, Atlanta class cruiser, and you'll find them. Uh, we do have some torpedo protection on our boat, though. We do have to keep that in mind. So looking at a 17 meter beam overall, I believe we're at 9. Let's see, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, yes, 11, 13, 15, 17. All right, so that is the total beam of the ship. Uh, so if we're looking at an Atlanta hull, Atlanta hull is a little bit more curved, while Dito hull is a little bit more flat. So we probably want to go a little bit more flat on the bottom and have a little bit more... Uh, I accidentally pressed F11. I don't know what F11 did, but it did something. So we could do something like this. That gives us a little bit of curve. I think that's good. Okay. And then if we press V, yep, with 17, we're good. What's better, flat bottom or big booty? I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now we have a nice uh, copy-pastable section here, which we can kind of stretch forward and back a little bit. Alright, so we got some amidship section. You know, vague amidship section here. And we gotta work out the bow first. Or the bow and the stern. So if I'm looking at, you know, a Dito and an Atlanta. Atlanta's kind of... Okay, Dito, Dito kind of has more of a continuous slope, while the Atlanta is a little bit more... Um... It kind of starts out straight and then pitches forward a bit above the waterline. Um, I think either approach is valid. Oh god, my internet's shitting itself. Uh, what's going on? Hold on. Why? The stream has seriously dropped in quality. My my internet's been like really spotty lately. Why am I dropping so many frames? Um... Okay, it's back! Okay, that's not good. I just dropped a whole bunch of frames there. My internet just... I mean, the stream kept going, but it kept going in a lot lower of a quality, because the internet's just like, I'm going to shit the bed on you. Oh, no, it's going again. Oh, God. 
Okay. Uh, there it goes. Mm. I can't build much right now, apparently. The internet is going to be absolute trash. She's forward, this way's forward. Yeah, front. Uh, internet, stop it. Stop it. Stop misbehaving this badly. Seriously. So, I was checking as to what's going on with it, and, um... Yeah, I... What the fuck? Going back to speed test again. Keep an eye on OBS. Yeah, I'm g so I'm getting, in terms of download speed, I'm getting, like, uh, good download. Very good download. Um... Looks like, uh, 357, 358 uh, megabits per second. Looks like upload is about... 9 right now? Um, but it's not helping, because I'm dropping a lot of frames. Why am I dropping a lot of frames? It's... Um, I'm trying again now that it's showing green. This is, this is, I think this has been an upload speed issue as of late. Oh no, it's showing red again. So when showing red... When showing red, I'm getting about 8 to 9. I want to see if that's changing. It's on green. I'm hoping it stays on green long enough for Ookla to check. I, I want to see if Ookla detects a difference. Just ignore it. Come on, get off a of red, please. Well, how am I supposed to ignore it? It's hurting my stream quality. I'm dropping... I've dropped 11.5% of the frames this stream already. Do this. And like, taunting me, it's going back to normal. When I'm not doing the speed test. Maybe the speed test had an effect on it. Maybe that was what was going on. Oh, but it's, it's still varying. Alright, so... Six? Okay, so let's just do that. So I know that that top lock is where stuff needs to go. I'll probably start with a wedge. So if we're doing something like this, then it's probably going to be a little bit more like in Atlanta. Where we keep we keep the wedge going, and then we uh, stretch it out forward um, just after the waterline. Um. Yeah, it's it's shitting shitting itself again. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, internet? Why? Part of me is like could this be a computer issue, but I'm not seeing my CPU usage change much. 
Is it? No, this is completely an internet issue. Oh no, it is, the CPU is going up a bit. Um, I'm starting task manager. I'm I'm looking at this. I'm seeing what the performance utilization is. CPU utilization is like twenty eight to thirty percent. Memory's eight eight gigabytes out of sixteen. GPU's holding steady. Yeah, um I, I think this is literally just the internet shitting the bed. And I don't know what I don't know what to do about that. It it has been really bad for a few days now. Um Oh yeah, it's just gone. My qual my stream quality right now is just gone. Uh, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do about this? Fine on your end. Good to know, at very least. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking it is. But I don't, I do not like seeing red right there. <laughs> Yeah, I do not like having this many dropped frames, um, and I don't know why it's doing it. On my end, yeah, when I have the stream up, um, I have issues. I'm gonna... Hold up. I have an idea. Is video buffering use the low latency tag toggle? I don't think it was buffering. I think I mean, it's just being weird. I guess it's not looking like I'm dropping that many frames. So I mean, it's looking like I'm dropping a lot of frames, but yeah. Um, there's there's a thought of me toggling off the low latency thing. I wonder if that's the issue. Okay. Okay, so we're kind of starting with that bow. You know what, let's go to the stern. Let's do the stern first. Actually. And just ignore all of the, uh... The, the 21,000 dropped frames I'm about to have. Because my internet's garbage tonight. Okay, so I'm still gonna keep a beam out over... Well, I'm still gonna keep that beam right there to uh, mark that location. But for the rest of this, um... Hold on, let me go back to Sketchfab and uh, Atlanta. Get the Atlanta model up and the Dido model up. So I don't think these are actually causing issues. I think this is just the internet being... My, my upload being garbage. Okay. 
So question. Um, when I build the stern, should I build a more transom stern, like on Atlanta? Or should I build a more rounded stern, like on Dido? Um, I can try to show some pictures here. Uh, give me a moment. I need... Display capture turned on. So... And find a good top down view. So that's in Atlanta. Got the transom stern, it's you know, flatter. And then with Dido, I need a good top down view. It's more rounded, it's sharper. So, uh, should I go with the, you know, more sharper stern of the Dido? Or the uh, more transom stern of the Atlanta? Because that is going to impact my uh, decision making here, in terms of how I uh, shape the after this. The fallacy of a greater chance of ricochet. I mean, which do you think they would have historically gone with if Canada became independent in or before 1900 and influenced heavily by the shipbuilding of both, you know, Britain and the U.S. Which do you think they p would have picked? Okay, you know, what? I'm going to go to. Uh, Stream settings, because I think this is low latency mode causing the issues. I'm going to try normal latency. Um, though I can't could see the uh, chat for a little bit. <laughs> Bubble buttons, <laughs> flat ass. What is my bitrate right now? Is that it? It might just be the bitrate issues. I don't think this is anything to do with all the changes I made to my computer. I think this is just internet shitting the bed. Because I've done the dep streams on this. Yeah, unstable. Poor network connection detected. Yep. Alright, um... Right back to speedtest.net. I'm just going to keep that running, I think, for now. Just keep trying to do it until I get some sort of resolution. More curved, like Cleveland. Okay. Now, it should be noted, USS Cleveland is a bit of a larger cruiser. Um... Than uh, these, so I'm not completely certain that works. And part of the reason why Cleveland was more uh, rounded back there was uh, for float plane catapults. And this ship, d although it does have float plane catapults, it's in a midships catapult. Okay. Why is my Something is wrong with the network path to Twitch. I'm not getting notable issues with uh, speed test. I think this is, I this could be Twitch. Um, I wonder if Twitch is having users indicate no current problems with Twitch. Okay. There's nothing on down detector. All systems operational. Why is this so bad? I guess it's not looking all that bad on the stream, so I don't... I'll just keep doing this and, uh... Ignore that I'm having, you know... Major issues. 
major, major network issues around the gearing. Gearing's a little smaller, but... I think with gearing, it's probably that way because you had to have uh, depth charges back there, which the ship doesn't need to. Um, and as such... I mean, the Atlantis had depth charges back there, which is why it's... You know, shaped like it is. But when you... I guess Dito did too. It's probably won't have any depth charges back there. Um... But yeah, even so, I think with this design, it's going to be better. Probably with, uh... I can try to get a rounded, rounded stern. And let me put on a little piece of black right there. Okay, cool. That that will be that's our little uh, marking point. We gotta merge with that somehow. I think I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna do this. So whatever type of stern we have, these two blocks are gonna be there no matter what. And looking at how these ships in general are shaped, I think it would look something like this. Or, you know what? If you do that, probably have that. And then... It depends on how I want to build the rudder. I might go with, like, a more Atlanta-style look with the rudder. How many screws did they have? Okay, Dito had four, Atlanta had two. Hmm. Just closer. Atlanta or Dito? Same speed. Um... It's a graph space. I mean, it, it depends on the era the ship's built in, because Graf Spee is a little bit older of a ship for uh, World War II. Still just trying to diagnose these stream issues, which are apparently gone now, so... Uh, speed test. Let me do a speed test, just... Oh my god, I go... I. Every single time I go to the speed test site, my internet's just like, nope, time to die again. I want to do a speed test without, of, of what my internet looks like when it's good and not absolutely shitting the bed. So that I can have a good comparison to what it's supposed to look like. But no, I can't, apparently I can't have that. Getting very annoyed with this internet here. Okay, so I actually can do something interesting. Um, okay, I'll hit go now since it seems to be recovering somewhat. Okay, so I think I do want to start slanting it more. Nope, as soon as I hit go, it shit the bed again. Um, what the fuck, internet? What is it on tonight? Yeah, I can only... I can only assess what my internet looks like when it's bad. I can't assess what my internet looks like when it's good for some stupid reason. Try again. It's good now. Apparently trying again made it shit the bed. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um. Because I'm just gonna have to deal with a night with uh, a bunch of dropped frames. 
because nothing is working tonight. Hooray! So I'm gonna do this instead. And uh, that's just down to how I'm gonna build that out. Okay. So if we go a little bit more rounded, we could do like this. Although, let's actually build this a layer up. So build this kind of above the waterline layer here. So that's a little... So that's a little rounded, but still very aggressively sloped. Yeah, so the, pro the problem is my internet's being shit more than it's not being shit. And I think that's that's the issue I'm having currently. Let's do this and then do that. So we have a nice fine hull form. go to there. Okay. Um. There we go. That's a good hall form. At the, hold on. Uh, I want to get a look at it from above. Um, little stern balanced, but that's fine. Keep it right for now. Seems to have returned. Ah, <sighs> man, I want to get the stream... I want to get this boat done and not have to constantly worry about is my stream just going to, you know, die on me. But no, it's going to die on me, because of course it is. Of course, you know, maybe this was not the smartest night to live stream. what I could do. Okay, so... Here's what I'm thinking about doing. Thinking about doing that. And then that, get rid of you. And then here I would need a uh, 2 to 3 meter, I do believe. That's bigger than about. Yeah, I guess that's technically true. Um, well, 3, what is it? A 2 to 3 meter, right? This guy, this guy, that's what I need. And then this is going to require triangles. Fun! It's going to be triangle time soon. How many triangles does this need? Alright, so we have... Let me just quickly think about this. So we have one point there. We have one point there. I think it's going to need three triangles. Although the bottom one would be the easiest to construct. I could probably even do that without the triangle generator. Um, with the other two, I'd just have to uh, use, you know, 
triangle generator for. So I'll have to stick a rudder in there somewhere. Um, if we look at, if I go back to the Atlanta model I have pulled up, it's a very smooth transition. And this is going to be a little bit more flat bottom. So maybe I should be doing with here, like, you know, offsets like that, that, maybe, you know, a three meter. I think I should be doing this. I think I've, I think I've figured out exactly what I need to be doing. I think this will give me the uh, best, or the aft hull form I'm looking for. And then we'll, uh, she'll probably wind up a uh, two screw ship. I will sort that out a little later. All right, so now I have to figure out how to how to stretch stuff back as I want to. So I think I want to do this and then that. I actually I'd love to put that there too. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. And now look at how much of the ship is now actually attached. Um, yeah, that works pretty perfectly, actually. Okay, so... That's good to know. So over here we have this. If we continue this on, at the very least, which I think I will at the very least for here. And then I'll make my decision slightly later. So the problem is I would need to do... This is so clean. Thanks. The problem is I would need to do something like this, which isn't that clean looking. Um, hmm. I think I know what I can do. So, I need this to stretch all the way... Oh, I'm, I'm being stupid. As I said, I was being stupid. Um, although I'd have to do like that and then this. So I think I got to do this here. And uh, we'll have a small line there. I might just not bother fixing that. Okay, good. Um... So then if I did want to fix it, I'd do an inverted 2 here, and then a 3. But I might do an inverted 3, and then a 2 instead. So that this does align at one point. But we have this uh, kind of otter shape. Weird shape in. Otter is not the right term. I'm saying otter like O-D-D-E-R, not O-T-T-E-R. That is not shaped like an otter. It is an odd shape. It is not an ot er shape. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. This this is this is what I'm like at this hour of night. Um. Okay, so I just want to check this. So this would align with here. So I do want that to stay curved. What I'll probably try to do is I'll probably try to build up at this layer here 
and the next layer. Um, I might do... I think this could be another offset right, that could be another offset right. That gets shifted back a little bit. Oh, that should be a 2. So why am I doing that? I have all these select out down here. Um, so then, boop, boop. Actually, you know what? No. No, no, no. 4, 4, leave that one unoccupied. For a reason that'll become obvious. Then I can do another offset there. Could be an utter sh what? Okay, so then we can do this. So now we have an additional difficulty. So that's that we have these two or these guys. So these guys would continue on for some distance. I'd probably want to do this and then that. So that guy gets you no, know, it's gotten rid of. Then if I have this shape back here, this doesn't work particularly well. It would be nice to... Okay, so if I got rid of those two pieces, it would be nice to have this kind of lead into here. Like that. Let's do that, actually. That'll work. That'll work. Hold on. I can move this piece one block forward. This'll work. Um, and then just seal this up with a normal piece like this. So this piece here will get fixed. 100% um, that will be fixed. That is some... If you've ever seen me build ships before, you will know that uh, I will change something there to make that better. So then what we can do is I build the bottom out in a very, very specific way, which I have started to fix now. Um, I've started to uh, fix these, um, you know, make these look a bit better than they uh, originally were. But I haven't actually uh, retrofitted some older ships to make them look as good as they could. Which I probably should do, because it would be a relatively easy fix, and I could use some of my other models to, uh, you know, improve that. Alright, so there's our stern, or at least the below the water portion of the stern. And now we have our bow, and hey, my internet's good. Um, hold on, let me try... Okay, I'm going to go to speed test, I'm going to hit go... If my internet suddenly has issues, that's a sign that speed test, starting up speed test has been causing them. Because it seems to have stabilized right now, and if it doesn't, then I want to see what my upload speed is normally. Well, what, what sort of upload speed I should be getting right now. Okay, yeah, it's gone back to red as soon as I did the speed test, but it looks like looks like my upload speed is about right where it should be. So what what I was getting before was probably the upload speed I was uh, supposed to have. So it was testing my upload there, which was why it went red and uh, you know shit the bed again. But that that was uh, part of the testing, so. Eh. So I dropped some more frames to do the speed test. Uh, but it looks like... So it looks like it was probably an issue on Twitch's end rather than mine. Something between the... 
something actually between the, uh, or me and Twitch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this, you know, be designed like this, and then once we get up to the bow itself, I'm going to have it flare out a bit. Well, there is an interesting thought on how I could build this, which I'm now having. Hey, I think it's finally time that uh, all of our blocks are going to meet up properly. Hey, look at that. Now nothing's purple anymore. Always a nice feeling to have. So then I think for the rest of this, this is just do this, because we can't really get, you know, five meters open. Although, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to do something even weirder. I'm going to do that. Um, so we have a little bit more of a diagonal hull form. Now, this portion is underwater, so I'm probably not going to bother fixing that up. Um, I don't think for the AR I need any of these ships to sink, so I should be okay. Alright, careful here, careful here. Actually, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna move this. I'll keep... I'll keep the other ones I have in, but, um... Yeah, that one... The reason... I'm doing this will become obvious here very, very shortly. Although, it's still probably a good idea for me to get this in. So I'll do one more layer of this. Now after after I do this, I'm probably gonna grab like a cheese stick or something. I'm I'm getting a little hungry. Um I will say as this live stream goes on, I'm definitely going to have to eat during it. There's no way I'm going to get through this live stream without eating. But, it's looking like uh, I'm making good progress here. So I think once I get the... Uh, I would say once I get the underwater hull done, aside from, like, the propellers, um, the propellers I'll get back to after my short break, um, once I get this underwater section of hull done, uh, that's when I'm gonna go and grab a cheese stick and a snack, a snack of some sort, at the very least. Alright, so let's keep this out at two for this portion. Keep it out at two here. Say so yeah, two for now. Do I want it to go down to one here, or do I want to want it to stay at two? I'll let it stay at two a little bit longer. And now we will go down to the one meter beam slope. Okay. Looks a little cyber. I don't know how this looks cyber. Um. You know, I want one to one, so like this, and that, and now this is the one to two. Now we get the two meter offset. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these blocks.
because they're not going to be aligned perfectly. And I know I could also do this on the sides of the ship. I'm just, I'm not as concerned with that. So, do a fill. And then just fill in the uh, gaps at the stern. So we got one there, we got one there, and we got a two here. And it looks like the other part aligned. Let me get a uh, good old air pump into it, and then we need to do a little bit of smoothing out of some sections. And then once that smoothing out's done, uh, I need food. Actually, it's... I was saying it was gonna be a cheese stick. It's not gonna be a cheese stick at this point. I'm gonna grab, like, a piece of chicken. I need a good piece of chicken in my body. Alright, so the main... The first issue I need to smooth is right here. So... Add new decoration. Uh, color 2. No, color 1. I need a, uh, what is it? Uh, plate. Alloy plate triangle. One of the two. Okay, and then do... Left, right, scaling, and then maybe, uh, no, forward, backward positioning. Alright, so that's triangle one, which is a fairly easy one to place down. Let me just get us like, a really small block when I'm editing this so that it doesn't get in the way. Now the issue is, uh... Triangle generator. So I, I need to move A back, I think, so negative the right way. That's not the right coordinate I was wanting to use, but that is the right way. Alright, so C should probably be positive there, and uh, negative there, negative 1. B is on the correct Y coordinate, um, I think... Bx needs to be negative, uh, Bz, is that negative? There we go, that's the triangle I want, uh, alloy. Um, give me a new decoration, also with color 1, generate a forward triangle, then generate a backwards triangle, and then exit out, and make sure that those align properly, they do. So apply that with mirror, then add a new decoration in. I'll just do a color all at the end of this. Alright, so, triangle generation. Did that embed properly? No, it did not embed properly. Okay, so I gotta fix that then. Uh, we, I had my embed direction wrong. So you should be... You should do that. Cool. Alright, so. I'm gonna leave C and B in place. I, because I want them. But I'm going to move A forward. So A, that's a little too far forward. So maybe 3, 5. Three, no, 2, 5. 2, 5 is the right location. Uh, that should be negative. And then that should be positive. And now I can generate a forward triangle there. Generate a backwards triangle there. Paint all of these color 1. And apply with mirror. Smooth! That is how you fix stuff. I love that mod. The, the mod which adds triangle generation is so good. E even if it's even if it would take up all your time building ships. Now the other ones of these are actually a little bit easier to do. So I'm gonna start here. Actually no, I'm gonna start here because I need a decorate. I need a decoration here. And this needs to be, um, alloy triangle corner. But yep, I get my choice whether I want the 2 meter or the 4 meter. Uh, I will use the, uh, I'll use the 4 meter. Um...
Okay. And I also want the, uh, I want to grab the inverted, uh, triangle corners too while I'm here, because I will need that. Okay, so let's take this one, um, we'll do that. Which one is it is up down? Yes. Okay, so we can put that on pretty easily. Now we take that, put it there. So we have another one of those pieces in, but we want to convert it into the inverse. And yep, that does align. So I want to grab this piece, put it here. Then I want to grab the whole thing. Put it there. Put it. Yeah, put it there. And don't put it there. I need to grab only the one. And there we go. That looks smooth. This is this is how you uh, smooth out holes. Um, next step, add new decoration. Um, so in this one, I want. Hold on, what's this piece again? That is the alloy one meter offset. Okay. So I need to grab the alloy one meter offset, the two meter offset, and the one to two meter transition. So. Actually, slope transition, and then two meter offset. Okay, there we go. I have all the meshes I need then. Alright, so... What is this? Is this the right or the left? I think it might be the right. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, so then... Apply that with Mir. So thankfully, get another one of these guys in here. But then over here, it's going to become the 1 to 2 meter. So that would be the 1 to 2 meter slope transition, right? This guy. And now I can take this guy, move it over here, and then this has to become the alloy 2 meter transition. And just like that, this is all becoming really smooth. Now I'm just going to go to the front and, uh, or go to the bow and grab that, uh, which one is it? It's this guy right here. It's the other one I need. Rather than go through the menus, even though that was probably quicker. And just like that, the only serious line I actually now have in here is this little guy. Which is just not worth bothering with. Yeah, look at that. L look at how well that shaped out. I am happy with that. It's like something Hot Wheels would make. I don't know if Hot Wheels makes any warships. <laughs> yeah. So for the bow, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of you know, grow it out this way, sort of. Um, so actually the top-down profile for this might actually start looking a little bit better as I uh, get her done. So the bow kind of, you know, extends forward. Um, stern will go up probably like maybe five additional blocks, um, flatten out. 
and then we will uh, build the AA cruiser on that. But I need food of some description right now. Actually, Kokoidlum is supposed to be a flat deck design. How does that compare to Atlanta's flat deck? Juno's flat deck. Is Dito flat deck? Or no, Dito's not flat deck. I mean, it was a stock superstructure, so eh, I I can I I can go either way. Yeah, there she is, and there's a destroyer I built last time, Pincor. She's gonna look good. I need to get food, so yeah. Uh, be right back. Where's my thing? There's my thing. Yeah, be right back. Um, I'll I'll get a good view up here. Okay, be right back.
All right, I am back with food. Um, I've not eaten yet, I should mention, but I have food in front of me, so I can start eating, which is the important part. I just pressed F9 on OBS instead of in-game. So yeah, we have a lower hall form now, which is good. I'm glad I can just kind of put together a lower hall form like this in about an hour. At this point, even even less than an hour now. Because that used... Like, the lower hall form is probably the hardest part of a ship to figure out how to build. And I can just kind of throw it together now, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, I should get a, I should get a camo. I need to go to my Imgur album then. I still need to make more camos. I, I'm gonna make a whole custom set of camos, but I've just not been in the mood to do any camo making. Well, I made a full custom set of camos. I mean, a full set of camos with a specific set of colors for this. Which I haven't done yet. Oh, I didn't have a set of test camos I was working with. Uh, let me go to my camo pack. Okay. It seems like you have the start of a decent haul there. Yeah. I'm I'm happy with how this turned out. I've um, been going for about an hour and made this, so... Uh, next thing I need to do is uh, or add his propellers, although I'm adding a camo right now so that the ship, you know, looks good when I'm building it. I'm just trying to pick which one. Means I'm scrolling all the way down through my camo album. I desperately need a new new album. You feeling not F to D? What should you make? Ooh, I don't know. Um, what? I mean, what size of ship are you looking for? No, make a carrier. Make an aircraft carrier. I hate making aircraft carriers, so suffer. No. Um, I don't know. Make a. What if you made like a super heavy cruiser? You know, 10-inch guns, maybe, roughly. Or 11-inch guns. You know, 8, 9, 11-inch guns. That could look good. Or, you know, 8, 9, 10... I guess 8, 9, 11-inch guns, that's a Scharnhorst. 8, 9, 10-inch guns, how about that? Like 9 or 10-inch guns in uh, triples. That could look good. Yeah, I've tried making aircraft carriers. I hate making them. I, I have to make a bunch, but I hate it. Um, I need to get somebody to help me with them, I think. So the problem is I'm looking through my camo album, and it's like I've used too many of these. Small UFO. Eh. Do that, I guess. I'm not a... I'm, I mean, I'm a realism builder, as you can probably tell. Okay, so I know I've used this camo on other stuff before. But I'll apply it. Should put on a carrier. Eh, maybe something. Okay. I don't want uh, camouflage enabled on paint one. I want it enabled on three. I'm gonna also have it enabled on five, or not, or not enabled, uh, unenabled on five. Uh, that's purely because I want to tell which color five is. I will eventually enable it on five, um, but I want to uh, build my superstructure with color five. Not that into decorating. Uh, oh boy, am I into decorating? 
So what I'm going to do is... I need to think about this for a moment. Okay. Hold on, let me, let me take a quick look at how far these hall forms go out of the water. Technically, astern, I probably should only be looking at about, you know, maybe four or five meters. There, yeah, probably five meters. But let's go to the stern. Let's build the stern first. Screw it. And then I'll uh, work on the bow more. Because the bow, I do want to be more elevated. Um, overall. I will build her as a flush deck ship. Okay, so is that enough freeboard? I think that's the big question. I think that is enough freeboard. I can get away with this. That will get sorted out in a moment. It actually should be pretty easy to sort out. Um, so, hmm. Because I kind of want to do... I don't want to, like, offset this. Do an offset, and then... Slopes. Which case, this isn't right, I need to do offsets here. Hmm. What if we did a 2-3 to three meter like this? Nope. Okay, you know what? Here's what we do. Put that in, put that in, then we do this. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work well enough. Uh, did I ever get rid of my be right back screen? I did, yes, good. I, I'm, I'm a smart live streamer. I am totally aware of what's going on. I'm sorry, I'm so used to you know, failing to do that on multiple occasions. That it feels weird getting it right for once. Okay. So I think... Is that going to be enough freeboard when it's in the water? I guess that's kind of like similar to an Atlanta. This ship will be roughly similar to Atlanta, so it goes from a 4 to a 7 up front. Um, I think I will go with a more Atlanta hall form up front than a, uh... Ah, uh, what is it? The, uh, Dido. I didn't have Dido turrets, though. But yeah. It will probably have the rapid uh, inclining bow of the Atlanta. Okay. I, if, if I'm not building right now, it's because I'm eating. Having some, uh, eating the hash browns on my plate, and then I can get to the chicken. So I can, you know, continue to sustain myself for this live stream. Because the last time I built a ship in a single live stream, it took seven hours. That's what I need to think that I'm going to do here. I am preparing myself for this taking seven hours. Alright. So then here, two, three, four, three, four. All right, I also do need to build the uh, propellers and rudder still. 
That'll come just after this, I think. Okay, so now we have the stern done. Roughly done. Um, still need decorating. Uh, now I think I can actually focus on the bow. Well, let me actually... I won't do that. Alright. So the bow is three meters higher. Um, so technically I'm going to do a pretty heavy slope on it. So... Okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four. So I get four adjustments here. And I'm thinking about this mathematically. So... I did this on another um, ship I made. Pin core. Might be the carrier I'm working on right now. I think it is the carrier I'm working on. Um, <laughs> where I can do a limited number of shifts. So... We do this. Alright, so that's one shift. Okay, so that's, yeah. It's a 2 to a 3, so that's 1 shift. That's a 2 to a 4. It's 2 shift. Actually, no, I'll do... 1 shift, 1 shift. That would be all the shifts I can handle. Although, I don't know, I think... I think if I just retain to a fairly normal hull form and then or bow form and then put the slope on it, it'll look good enough. It'll look what I, like what I'm going for, rather than trying to do this uh, weird thing, which I'm considering. Um, and I can probably make this easier to build on building with wrong color. Oh, hold on, hold on. This does need a shift to the three, so that would be a two to three meter uh, slope transition. Probably here, actually better. Nope. Into two to three meter inline, I think. It's like that guy. And then I need the three meter offset. Now up top, I will do a three meter offset. And then we need three, 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 and the three to four inverse there. Now, another thought is. I'm going to do another 3 to 4 here. Yeah, that's looking good enough. Um, Okay, and then we do just full four meter offsets there. At the top, it will be a little easier to do. I mean, is this really how uh, ships look? Probably not. But, uh, couldn't fix it anyway, why should I care? know exactly how I'm going to rebuild the bow form. That one's only going to go to uh, 6 high for now. And 
and uh, next one might only go to five high and then four high so that we kind of get that sloping bow shape. And then I will add in a uh, good little, what is it? Uh, spin block. Class just do a chart. Might be easier. The like, normal thing is just spin block bows, but I'm thinking about just like setting up a turret instead of a spin block. Turreted bows. Instead of spin block bows. Innovation! I don't know. You get, you get, you know, 4.29 a.m. no name here. Four twenty nine AM no name is not the sanest no name. Alright, so then for this guy you know what I will do this. Seal this up. Actually, this is looking pretty good. You mean, did I actually paint the stern? No, I didn't. Good job, me. I don't know how I had paint one selected for this. And now I have to repaint the stern. One more piece of chicken to eat. And now I'm done and hopefully semi-fueled for the next maybe one hour because I'll probably get hungry again. But I'm just completely not in the mood to like... So we do have like leftover pizza and homemade burgers, and it is actually homemade pizza. Um, well, I don't know, I'm not feeling it right now. I should probably save just in case, like, you know, the power goes out or something stupid like that. Or the game crashes. It doesn't happen often. Alright, so, the hall form is definitely taking shape. It is very Atlanta-like. Although we know how low she's going to have to be in the water. Alright, I got to do some uh, shaping on the stern. Let me shift in my seat a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna do some some shaping on the stern, some shaping actually towards the bow. Let's do the bow shaping first, because I'm, you know, here right now. Alright, so the first step is decoration here. We need a four meter offset. And I'm probably also gonna want to grab the three and two meter offsets too. Because I know I'm going to need both those. Do I want the 4 meter? Uh, you need... Roll. Left, right. Down. And apply with mirror. That gives us a nice smooth surface. One there. So then up over here, I need one here. Then I need one here, but I need this to be the three meter offset. Four meter offset right, so that's a three meter offset right. Apply that with mirror. 
take that, put it there, take that, put it there, and turn you into the 2 meter offset right, and apply that with mirror. And now it's time... Oh, okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I can do a 3 meter offset there, too. Yeah, that should be doable. This should be uh, reset, reset. That's minus one. What happens if I... So I'm probably going to delete this one. I'm curious as to what happens if I put it there. Yeah, I'm going to delete that. So I would like to be able to stretch this... I should probably actually stretch this piece out. Hmm. That's a good a idea, actually. 3 meter to 4 meter inverse, stretch it out. Um, that would mean that I have less triangles to deal with. I will do that. Give it a moment. So I think this is... That, right? Yeah. Alright, so that makes the triangles a little bit easier to handle. Um, but they're still going to need to be done. Okay, so... Triangle number uno right here. I guess the question is, can I get by with one triangle, or do I need two? Alright, so... A. Uh... Oh, wait, no. Your AX is in the right position. Your AY needs to be positive. A is in the right position. BY needs to go down one. And it needs to go... forward... by two, I think? And then that... To that and then C down by one. Um, yeah, down by one, forward by one, and then that. And I only need one triangle there. Excellent. So we need to put a triangle here too. So, in this case, A needs to move forward a block. B needs to move down a block. And forward a block. C is in the right position. I need to add a new decoration, generate a forward triangle, and generate a backwards triangle. Give me the color 3 and apply with mirror. There, that looks smooth. This is going to look good. Alright, so then I need another triangle here. So then A is in the right position. B needs to come up 1. C is in the right position. So I need... Two decorations, so generate a forward triangle, generate a backwards triangle, paint them both color three, and then apply with mirror. Triangle generator is the best goddamn tool on a mod you can get in this game. I love it. So now we go astern, and we have another thing we have to do. So in this case, it is, uh... Add new decoration, so this should be a 2 meter offset. Oh my god, I typed stuff in to move around, but I had selected the filter. An idiot. Okay, there we go. Give me color 3. 
uh, up, down, positioning, plus 1.5, apply with mirror. So now that's smooth. So now you go there, but now you need to be a 4 meter offset. So you're currently a 2 meter offset, right? You need a 4 meter offset, right? And now we just take that, copy it a few more times. And that has really smoothed out now. All right, so now we are on to the propeller and or the propellers and rudder, and I think I am gonna don't go with a two prop ship or a four prop ship. So, no, this destroyer here is a two prop. Um, I'm probably going to need a. Uh, I'm gonna need another ship spawned in to uh, steal pieces off of for this. So that will probably be CL Cold Lake, I think. Is Cold Lake or Cold Lake's propellers done? Cold Lake's not a completed ship, I should mention. Um, the issue with Cold Lake right now is the aircraft catapult, mostly. Um, she'd have a through, or she'd have a through deck catapult, or, and I, I'm not completely sure how I want to implement that. But she has made very good progress. She is pretty close to done. She needs something here. Um, other than that, she is really, she is actually really close to done. She needs a uh, deck decoration. She needs some more railings up here and such. Yeah, she's actually she is pretty close. I could probably get Cold Lake done just whenever I wanted. Oh yeah, and more ballast. Um. Okay, her propellers are in fact done, which is excellent because I can steal them. Okay, I'm liking Cold Lake. I'm sorry, Cold Lake's a good, good-looking ship. I do need to uh, still get the custom set of uh, camos available, but anyway. So Cold Lake has uh, decorations on her propellers, and I can steal those for uh, Abbotsford Coquitlam here. Uh, however, she will need her own custom rudder. So if I do this Atlanta style, it's separate. If I do this Dito style, it's kind of... I would uh, probably stretch this out here. I think I'll do. I think I'll do this more Dito style. She's a little bit bigger of a ship. Not quite that far. Put in three meter. That will be the rudder where the rudder rotates about. And uh, I'll do like this. You know what? No, hold on. I'll do a two meter here, two, and then maybe a three here, and then I'll have the rudder after that. Yep, that's in the right position. Okay, cool. So, I think, I think that's good. Um, that's a good place to uh, start the rudder rotation. So, sub objects, uh, spin turn block. Time to build upside down. This is what I have to go through to get propellers to work. All right, so we want the propeller to go all the way down to the keel. That's the keel. Okay, so I'll bring it two blocks forward. So I want to do this, but I kind of want to curve it a little bit if possible. So I could do, like, this. And just have a little bit of curve there. I actually do think that looks good. Believable. So then... Uh, if I'm mimicking Dito's uh, rudder section, I'd probably want to do something like that. Do this. And then do our curved sections back here. Uh, yeah. There you go, that is a rudder. This is very much a rudder. I'm actually going to add a shafted rudder section right here. And spin rate control, yaw. Oh, no, not that. angle control. 
So you usually do about 0.2. So there's the rudder. Now we need the propellers. And then after the propellers, we're gonna need all the decorations for the propellers. And once that's done, I think it will be time to add in some machinery, which actually will be easy. I just have a copy-paste engine I use. And then once the machinery's in, it's an internal subdivision and armor. Once that's done, it's uh, build out the deck. Actually, I, I would... Internal stuff would need some, uh... Ooh, would it need... I'm trying to think. Would you have barbettes for this ship? I don't think you would. But would you? You might. Would you have barbettes for an AA cruiser with double 5-inch turrets? How thick, how thick is her turret armor again? Let me check. Her turret armor is... One and a half. No, those are, those are deck mounts. You'd probably have some sort of, uh, lifting... Lift mechanism in them. But yeah. Not an actual proper thing. I might model the lift mechanism though. That might be a good idea. Uh, for the deck mounts. Alright, so we have... Yeah, we have the rudder done. I uh, need to add in... Where are they? Where are they? Uh, steed. So the problem is, I'm already starting to feel hungry again. I don't know why. It's just recently I've been feeling really hungry for some reason. Alright, so... We could probably have the aftmost set of propellers there. Then the next set of propellers... She, no, I think she might wind up being a two-prop ship. Yeah, I think I'll make her a two-prop. Oh, there's also the thought where I could put the propellers down here. Which I think would look better. So if we do this, if I want her to be a, uh, four-prop vessel, I'd probably do this. Ah, she can be a four-prop. That works well enough. Alright, so in terms of, uh, sections these go through. This guy will go through there, which I need one piece for, and this guy will go through here, which I need two pieces for. Let me just make sure that these wind up being sealed. I think they would be sealed anyway, but, you know, who cares. Um, do a little bit of that. And now we can put in the uh, Mimic Alloys. Should be here. Hold on, what is this? That's, okay, 3 meter offset. Do I have the 3 meter offset? I do, right? Yes, I do. Your data transfer. Okay, so I'm going to need one there, and I'm going to need one here. Well, let me put in the uh, actual things first now. Um, okay, so this one I need steam engines. Wait, steam engines. Where's steam? There's steam engines. Okay, so medium two meter sealed shaft goes through there, and now we just have Shaft, 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 shaft. There we go. Merges with the propeller, and I need to put a shaft back here, and then I need to put a crank motor on this. Okay. So in this case, I need a medium 2 meter uh, sealed shaft here, and another one here. Then I need a medium shaft there, then shaft, 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 out to the propeller and put a crank on this, too. So now uh, those propellers will work. And now I can actually put these pieces in. So you have to be a uh, three meter invert, I believe? And then the other one's a three meter triangle corner.
Honestly, now there's like part of me which really wants to get other people like into a call or something. This is inverted. Um, like that. That work. Gotta select the mirror mesh here. And here. Because mimics don't mirror as well as uh, decorations. Then you need to be an alloy triangle. Triangle corner, three meter, three meter mirror data transfer. And then go over here and select the mirror mesh. There we go, cool. Alright, so those propellers are now on, but she, they need to look a lot better. So I'm going to steal the bits I have for uh, Cold Lake over here. I also need to, I still need to get Cold Lake done. She's just sitting here incomplete, and I really need to build the catapult, mostly. I, might, I could copy and paste some stuff and get that to work, probably, thinking about it now. Um... Oh, Cold Lake, I did put, like, that in. Interesting. Anyway. So, for Cold Lake, um... We have that. We have that part right there. So, I probably just want to grab these two. Cold Lake is a far... Yeah, Cold Lake would be a far older ship than Abbotsford, right? Yeah. I think... Is that right? I think that's right. Just mirrored the data transfer. I think that data transfer mirrored well enough. Then we will have to get the end of that on. Then take this. Oh, so put that. Oh, crap. I, I see how this is going to go. Alright. So, that's a triangle corner right there. I'm going to need to get rid of that. I'm going to place the prefab down. Prefab works. I'm going to convert this into a decoration. I'm going to convert this into a decoration. I'm going to convert this into a decoration. I'm going to con... I'm going to change that to a decoration, and then immediately... Okay. Apply with mirror. Apply with mirror. That fixed it. Cool. Go back to you, and then replace that piece I broke. I believe is that a triangle corner for me here? It is. So now they all have a block um, which they are decorated onto. And now that looks good. Yeah, this is going to be a good looking ship. I am kind of wondering if she'll be a little low in the water. I hope not. I hope she won't look too low in the water. Then I might have to add just a tiny bit more height to her. Which would be annoying, because I'd probably have to uh, take this section here and lift it up one. I think, I, th I think she'll just look a little low in the water, overall. Again, a little lower than, like, Cold Lake, per se. Alright, so the next thing I need to grab is... There are these additional things I have on the end to make the shaft look a little better. And that block is hidden right here. And you can see Cold Lake's uh, bottom how I haven't actually, you know, improved it yet. Like I have with, uh, you know, like I have here. I think this needs to... How far back can I go away with this? Okay, that's that's the furthest back. 
So then what I would want to do is uh, 9, 8, 7, Do that. Actually, take this and just paste that on myself right there. Um, rotate it. About 155. Is that more up? It's more up. About one more like 160. Um, Yeah, that looks pretty good. Those, those look like good propeller shafts. Well, okay. Making progress. Ah, oh, you have a good stretch. And, uh, yeah, two, two hour mark, and, uh, we got the, uh, propellers done, we got the hull done. So two hours is always my minimum time for a live stream. I try to get any live stream to this length. So whenever I want to, I can be like, okay, I'll end it soon. But I'll try to keep going a little longer. Or a lot longer, hopefully. Uh, prefab mode. So, it's machinery time. And I need to look at the model again. So you can, you can see the picture of the ship I'm trying to build uh, at the top of the screen. Although the, I'm not going to build her exactly like that. I am going to take some artistic liber liberties in some places. Um, okay, she does have torpedo defense too. Actual model itself, she has fuel. I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna use normal fuel engines though, rather than what I should be using, which are steam engines. But um, it's easier to get chips with fuel engines to move and they actually have working exhaust, unlike other stuff, so eh. Uh, I think fuel and so I need one of these two. This is my bigger fuel engine. I think I will use the bigger fuel engine. All right, so. In terms of power. Oh, that's nice. It tells you uh, the space that that air pump was occupying, but leading it appears to have not changed anything because I built everything out of alloy. Alloy is fun, but it's also broken, and, uh, thank you, Sideword, for following, and welcome to the Nameless Follower Group thingy. Alright, so we can... I was considering putting an engine in there. On the other hand, I could do this. Or, I could lay them out sideways like this, and I think that gives me more room. Yeah, I'm gonna lay, lay them out sideways. So I'll group them into two... Into groups of two like this. Take this. Um, space them out. Then put a third one in there. That should be enough propulsion to be underway. Yeah, that should be enough propulsion to get me underway. And then the rest of this, I'm going to need uh, some torpedo defense. So that's going to be a wall built along here. And I will go here. Because technically, this doesn't allow you to get around the engines, though. So I should probably build it out a block. I built it here. That's only like one block, no. You know what? The inside of the ship's not designed to be traversable, so I don't care. I will just do this. It'll look good enough. This isn't going to anger anyone. Okay, so the torpedo defense... I mean, we'd be under the forward magazine. Uh, you made some progress with the flying saucer. Ooh, nice. Cheesy design based on something made for a tournament. Playing the 60% turret. Okay, then. I, I don't really build, you know, cheese in this game currently. Although, 
That being said, um, repair bot cheese. <laughs> that, that did happen. Um, it's only kind of my fault. Uh, let's... Let's just... Yeah, okay. Speed of defense probably should end here. Just, just one tight repair bot. It's tiny. Yeah. I was just saying I've done cheese before, technically, but, um... But it was like, you know, trying to build an actual ship during... While the campaign was going on, and then having that ship, you know, be sunk in battle before it was complete. So being like, okay, um, you're getting repair... Or, uh, it was about to sink in battle, so it got a bunch of repair bots jammed on it. Um, and we haven't found where all them are to remove. Alright, so I've got to make sure that the torpedo defense system actually receives these. Now, this is TDS-2, so I should probably actually use metal. I think alloy, alloy would be good enough for this, though. Good enough rep representation. Um, I will probably give her, like, one layer of metal armor. Plain halls of spear, mostly run by another sphere that is the turret. Okay. So, yeah, I'll probably make the armor metal and then the deck armor uh, alloy, even though I normally just make my deck armor alloy, but all my decks alloy anyway, so it doesn't exactly matter. Um, but who cares? Alright, armor scheme wise, uh, she's all or nothing. Or nothing of uh, flat deck. Um, actually, hold on. I should probably uh, build out her uh, internal subdivisions first. Internal compartments. So, boop, 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 boop. Boop. Same here. So, those will be her engine rooms. Okay. So for this lower layer, though well, the engine rooms do need to go a little higher, technically. I'm trying to think about where I'm going to put the roof. I usually... I'll build the roof four high, so then uh, I'll have three high rooms to work with otherwise. So then I will just do... Do you know what? Hold up, hold up. Let's just make this easy on myself. For the future. Okay, so I should do this. Oh, hold on. Do that. Planes on the turret and vector tests on the main hall. Nice. Um, single one there, single one there. I think that is good. And then this section here can be its own little room. So then all that can be filled in in the future. And then I can do similar stuff here. Okay, you know what? So I need to do that. So... I need to figure out how many of these I need. Okay. I could do this. Two, three, two. Um, I might do a three there and then two twos up front. Yeah, that looks even. So 
So there we go, we have uh, compartmentalization. The dream mood for facing injectors and shields that reflect attacks back. Okay, nice. Um, okay, so I, I'm actually going to remove these guys, even though I'll have to add them back in later. Just so I can better see what I'm building. So some of these are going to have to be ammo rooms, some of these are going to have to be supply rooms, and one of these is going to have to be the AI room. And uh, technically one of these is going to have to be an engine room, but it's not going to be like a functional engine, it'll just be a... Okay, it kind of looks like this sort of engine thing. I'm good at descriptions. Okay. So, we have the AAA AI. This is the AI for the anti-aircraft guns. That will be placed in this room. About here, probably. And then we have our main ship AI. So these are just little prefabs I have set up. They're not the most perfect things, but, you know, they'll work. I mean, the this, this ship needs to look pretty more than anything. Like, Usually is a pleak for internal components. Okay, slider so better floating, but doesn't float like alloy does. That actually might be a good idea. Um, cause yeah, pleak doesn't have the same amount of uh armor. It's not lighter, but doesn't have the same amount of uh, armor as alloy. That could be a good idea, actually, using a pleak for this. Um, or like as armor for them. Hmm. Cause yeah, this would probably look better. Oh, well, this room I am gonna leave like that for stability when the ship is breached. Okay. I might just leave it leave it like this. I've been building like this pretty consistently, and I should probably keep some sort of a consistency across uh, my builds for this. But that is actually a good good tip. I could try to use uh, a bleak in the future. All right. So in terms of ammunition rooms, I think this is going to be an ammunition room. I'm just going to put a bunch of ammunition in here. First and foremost, the ship's designed to look pretty. And, uh, not do anything else, so. Underhaul. Having the underhaul more floaty than the top can make the ship capsize. Yeah, that is fair. Um, but I, I know how to build her so that she won't. I've been building these ships already so that they don't. Alright, so... Yeah, I'll just have the two ammunition handling rooms here. Even though I might abstract some of the, uh... Some of the more vital stuff to getting them to function. Let me make sure that all of these rooms have an actual air pump in them. So, okay, so this will be engine. Um, then this will be normal supply, so I'll put a little bit of material storage in here. Because she is... I think they do... ships do need that now. Not too much, but that'll be good enough. And then I'm going to put fuel over here. In the uh, torpedo bulges. And actually I need to remove that air pump. And that air pump. And that air pump. And this air pump. Alright, so now she has some actual fuel access and can move. The hull is mostly alloy. Yep. The hull is alloy. She will get a uh, lead keel. Well, she has a lead keel, but she will get more lead on the bottom. 
Uh, that's how I build these ships. Build them out of alloy first, and then when I need to sink them down, it's time for lead. Um, you know, get all the components I want first, and then sink the ship down. Build the ship light, and uh, then put lead on for more stability. Uh, that's what I, or that's what I've been doing. And it's worked pretty well so far, except on destroyers. It's struggled a little bit on destroyers. Okay, so then back here, I'm just gonna have some machinery like that. So that's like, hey, here's the engine rooms. Okay, fine, that'll 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 work. That, that'll look okay. Okay, it looks like some form of machinery. I mean, nobody, nobody's gonna see it, so... Other than on this stream. Alright, so then... This room needs probably a, uh... Little water thing. Make your halls mostly out of metal. One... Reinforced deck, you make the deck out of reinforced deck, and I'll even float it to height with air pumps. Okay. So my my thing is alloy looks better with uh oh, what is it with camos. That's kind of the selling point for me. I don't think metal looks very good with camos, but alloy does. So I kind of intentionally build my ships out of alloy so that they look better when camos are put on them. Gotten that first layer done. Nice with metal since alloys used to look so bad. That is true. I don't think if I want anything in this room. I think I got everything I needed down here. I got the ammo, I got um, engines, all the resources. And tournament cost efficiency. Yeah. Okay, so I will seal up these compartments. Alright, so that's kind of her main set of compartments sealed. Okay. Another stretch. Ugh. So I think for the machinery, she has two funnels, as you can see in the little picture at the top of the screen. So three of these will root into one, three of these will root into the other. That's what I'm thinking. Um, the it's probably best if I start constructing her armor belt. So let me uh, hold on. Armor, um, Atlanta, hold on, USS Atlanta. I typed in Atlanta armor, and it auto-corrected to Atlanta armored truck robbery. So apparently there is an armored truck robbery in Atlanta at some point. Have fun knowing that. Also, I've been on, uh, I just realized something, I've been on, uh, desktop or display capture for a while when I should be on FTD capture. Ah. Put my, put my uh, jacket on, hoodie on. Okay, looking at the armor scheme on Atlanta in, ooh, I think that's War Thunder. Um, which is not going to appear on screen right now because I smart. Actually, I have open image and new tab. 
Okay, so I think the armor here would be pretty similar, um, except that the, the lanta might be a little bit more narrow of a belt than this. Is. The belt for this one would probably stretch to where both the fore and aft turrets are. Um, so it looks like the belt probably starts be like this. Be like this would be a good belt. Yeah, I think that would be a good belt. Um, let's start it over here. Why am I building it like this? This is easier. So I do think the belt here would continue forward a bit. I would not be surprised to see it end either there or a little bit forward of here. Maybe like there, that would be a good ending for the belt. Well, the only thing is, she actually has heavier armor than Cold Lake over there. And Cold Lake's more similar to, like, a Cleveland or a, uh, town class cruiser. And the reason for that is Cold Lake is really, really old. Uh, at the time of the war. Well, these things are relatively newer. Um, so, I, the, so I'm building these for a Rule the Waves 2 AAR, which is a different game. They were originally built in Rule the Waves 2, as you can see by the little, uh, screenshot, that's what the ship would have appeared like in that game. And uh, Cold Lake over there, you know, was also built in this. All the all the ships I have spawned in, all the ships I'm building right now are for that. And Cold Lake was actually built in the 1920s, um, if I recall correctly. Actually, I think she was a 1918 design, and then heavily modified in the 30s into the state she's in. So she's actually like if if you played like World of Warships or War Thunder or something, um in terms of hall form, she's probably more similar to like a uh Emerald or Danae or you know, C class cruiser. I think probably like a yeah, more like an Emerald or a Danae. Um and originally she would have looked more similar to that, just with a lot more turrets and... Like, like an enlarged version of that. Maybe like a Hawkins. Kind of similar to a Hawkins. But then, you know, rebuilt into a uh, full, regular Cleveland-style light cruiser in the uh, 30s. Whereas the... Whereas uh, Coquitlam here is a uh, late 1940s design. And actually, there's another class, which I should have... I'm going to have to modify her into the other class, too. I think it is pretty identical, so I might just... I might just be able to get by with superstructure differences. Um, I hope I won't have to significantly tear her apart to build the new one, because I'm already a little committed to this. Uh, I think I can just get by with, like, superstructure differences for the other class. The tonnage difference is probably, like, 100 tons and... 100, 200 tons at most, and that's not enough to, uh, change the hull. I could probably just do that. Um, so yeah, she she's a lot more modern than that ship over there, but that ship was extensively modified, or modernized, and that ship only, that ship was only built with two inch armor, and she was built with two and a half inch armor. All right, so now we're on the next layer. Like, if I make this three high again, that means I only get one block for the deck, so or four high, and then you know, ceiling here. So I think if I, I think I have to build out to about here-ish. Although, you know what? Hold on, let's uh. Okay, so I should probably seal up the top of the TDS.
Um, how do I want to build this out? How do I want to do this? Alright, so, let's do... Okay, so then we're going to have a layer across here that should actually work pretty well. Although, her armor layer, I think her deck armor would be here. So, I probably actually do want to make this three tall. And then just have an abstraction that technically that next deck up would only be... Would, you know, wouldn't actually be a full deck. Because from the depths versus real life is a little, a little odd. A little off. From, from the depths is off from real life. Yeah, so if I do this, then the layer on top would act as uh, deck armor. Maybe what I'll do for deck armor is I'll add an additional layer of a pleak. I think that's what I'll do. And then just uh, seal up this. We shall have to add another. Uh, in there. That'll work. Is make decks out of a pleak several times. I use a lot of decorations to make them look right. Okay. Um. Hmm. Could uh, get another one right there, and then just kind of seal this up. Then. Start doing this. Okay, so her second deck is now being constructed. Or her upper deck, yeah, second deck area is now being constructed. This is good. This is working. Alright, so, four. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Now give me this. Then, doop, doop. Yeah, that works pretty well. That meets the end, actually. Then, we need a layer here. Then probably an additional layer built into the stern about, uh, probably about here. Alright, so then we can place a water pump here. This guy has a water pump already. Give all these guys water pumps. Those guys have them. Alright, there we go, internal subdivision. Alright, so, let's uh, go add some applique armor, a little bit of applique, applique panels to the uh, underside of these sections. That was a rather easy fill. That was a rather easy fill, too. Um, this will be a rather easy fill, but I'm going to have to get rid of this center portion. Oh, it's almost a rather easy fill, because there's this layer here. Oh, 
go back in through here. Actually, you know what? Just do the same here, too, quickly. Right. Not an easy fill right here. That. Give me a three. And just go into the end of the armor. Which is there. That's actually kind of a neat look, seeing all the applique from the top down. Um, now, that being said, I do need to put in some again back over here. So you need to be put in... I think I, I think this is... These are five separated, probably. Then this is two separated. This is three. Actually, you know what? Let, let's just do... Let's do prefab. This will be the same for all three of these. And uh, just to make sure that I get the uh, exhaust through. Straight pipe. Straight pipe. Then I need hull pipes. All. Actually, you know what? I'll do this. Prefab. Just uh, put these in. Need to get the forward one as well. So now I think everything, I think everything is set up. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm at this point. I'm pretty much confirmed that I'm not bothering with uh, turret hoists. Oh, it filled in back here pretty well, too. Eh, struggling a little bit with these uh, corners. Alright, so that's like the layer now before the deck. That is some darn good progress so far. Getting the ship to this state. Ugh. I might need like a quick break. Um, I go grab some candy, but just something to stand up, take a moment, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a quick break right now just because I do feel like I need to stretch and uh, maybe grab like a chocolate bar or something. Get out of the chair for just a moment and uh, then keep going and keep building this. So yeah, I'll be right back again then just so I can just so I can do this. I'm not I'm, I'm not in not in the best element right now for streaming, but I'm going to keep going. Just. You know, this is this is what I need to do to keep going. So yeah, be right back.
Alright, um, I'm back. I have my chocolate bar now. I also had a cheese stick because I was getting hungry again. Why am I hung? Why am I so hungry right now? Why is nothing filling me up and I'm not in the mood for uh, anything that would fill me up? I don't know. My body is weird and stupid. Alright. So, what we have to do right now is we have to uh, figure out where the funnels are. I probably want to build some boxes around them. I look at an Atlanta class. Are they kind of like... Yeah, yeah, there's kind of boxes around the funnels. That... What about the... Uh, bit above deck. Um... The same with the Dito. Oh, it's even more true with the Dito. And based on the reference image I have, yeah, it's way true on this. I'm also gonna have to get torpedoes on her. She has uh, quad tubes. Okay, no reloads. Good. So, fuel engines. I'm going to need a corner pipe here, and a corner pipe there. One funnel will be in front of that, one funnel will be behind that. I think I'm going to have one funnel go up there. And one full go up there. I think that'll work. Yeah, I think those are good enough to build the two funnels around. Um, I don't know, I might actually want to shift them back a little bit. Just thinking about how the guns are going to be mounted on this thing and how the forward super sharks is going to be. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to move you. Uh, you will now go here. Um, part of me does want to move that one back, but I think it is, it's actually in a good location. Okay, yeah, those are much better locations for the funnels, I think. That's better. I'm a little closer together. That should work. Because I do need the aft uh, deck for the uh, float plane catapult, too. And also, I have had a change of thought. I am going to put depth charges on her. Just a small set, though. Because I think she would have them. Okay. I'm going to look through Discord and see if there's 
I'm like kind of looking through Discord right now at 5:40 a.m. to see if there's anybody awake who would like like to hang out while I'm doing this. If I look at my friends, who's online? How the hell is he online? I don't know. Or all the people I've messaged recently. Not many of them are online. That's not helpful. All right. Okay, so I am going to build... Think about this. I'm thinking about this right now. Because I need to make this decision now. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to build... Funnel? Do I want the funnel to be like in like this? Or do I want it to be out a little more? I could build that in or I could build that here. I might build that here. Yeah, let's do this. Actually, I'm not going to here. Um. So you sure there's a 16 long? Exactly. Well, that's nice. Um, so then just... That's only like a one block difference there. Eh. I'll just do this. There we go. Alright, so then we need to start... Okay, no, I don't want to put that, that layer on. So this is going to be elevated, like, up here. Actually. So I should probably just do this right now. Oh, I see why that didn't work. And then this will be, um, I'll just put this in and then do three beams like this, because I think, oh, hold on, I'm screwing this up. There we go. Actually, these need to be internal, so. Those three would be external, these ones would be internal, though. Okay, so everything there which is internal is now unpainted. Everything which is external is painted. Which is exactly what I need. Alright, so... Technically, this deck is only one meter high. Realistically, it would actually be two. Um, who cares, you know? Abstraction for game purposes. That was probably not worth it. Not worth the time spent. Now 
Yeah, this will be the last layer of uh, actual subdividing. And technically, things are going to get interesting here at the bow. Well, I might just... Oh. I'm not going to build that on the bow yet. I feel like I might try to get the slope in first, and then figure out what I'm going to do. And that's not only a might, that's a I definitely am going to do that at this point. Alright, so, with everything else filled in, we need water, or we need air pumps. So I want that one there, I probably want them there. Boop, 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 boop. You guys have one? No, you don't. You each need one. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay, so I need a... Uh, I need a little alloy... Uh, or wood alloy structures here. Hold on, where are they? Two meter. Two meter alloy wood slope. That's what I need. No! No, 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 no. We're not, we're not having a deck made out of air pumps. I, I I am objecting to that. I am objecting to the air pump deck idea. Although maybe I don't know. Maybe that's a revolutionary new technology. Who knows? You know, build build your whole deck out of air pumps. Uh, keep the ship afloat no matter what. They can't they can't knock out all of your air pumps if or they can't knock out all of your compartments if all of them are air pumps. <laughs> if your whole ship is air pumps. <sighs> Big, it, it, big brain time, you know? That did not work as well as I was hoping. I'm gonna do okay. Hold on. Does this work well enough? That that works. That doesn't work. Do you work from here? Yes, you do. Okay. So I'm gonna do something a little weird. And you can already kind of see what I'm planning on. This could look a little funky, but I've done this before. Okay, so we have one section back here, and then one section over there. So what I need to do here is I need to make this section look long. Does this work? Oh, I hate it when it does the auto wood block thing. That's not horrible. That's one really long... That is a really long wood piece, though, so maybe I should try to find something with, like, borders on it. Only that weren't so ugly.
We can do shutters. So the place the shutters kind of like. So. I know. That doesn't look good. But. Why have I not been using this on my other ships? My god, I could, I could, I could make that work. That, that could legitimately work. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. So I think I'm just going to have to do that for that section, and that'll look a little ugly. However, over here, I think I can get by by deleting two of these. Actually, you know what? Maybe even this one here. And now we can have some irregular sized wood boards. So we get a six. So be two sixes we could get. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Let's convert this to a five. Okay, so that's a five. So let's say I use fives. Uh, fives. Uh, two fives and a four would get me there. So I can put a four in here. And then we have fives going across. That doesn't look bad. The fact that these wood boards are uh, slightly stretched is going to be hardly noticeable. Okay. Coquitlam is coming along. Okay, so we got to do the uh, angled bow next. Um, yeah, I think that's the next step. I'll put one more of these beams in here. Because, yeah, we, we know that that room is uh, fine. So I think the angled bow is, would start here. And this is where um, these forward rooms might be might need more interesting um, internal divisions. So, how I normally do this... I'm probably going to have to grab something from another ship and there's not one there. Eh, I'll do it on my own. Even though this will be... It's like, this will be painful enough on my own that I should just grab the bow from another ship. But I think it'll just be faster if I don't spawn in another ship and uh, remake all the mi all the important mimics for actually doing this. Because there are a lot of important mimics if you are planning on doing what I'm about to do. So, the first thing is we take a spin turn lock, put it on its side, and I'm gonna put it... Probably, uh, how do I want to do this? How far back do I want it? How, how far back do I want this to start? Because wherever this is, it's going to start just slightly behind it. 
And we're going for like a very steep Atlant or USS Atlanta sort of bow. I'm going to put it here. We're going to start it right here. Now we're sideways, which is horrible. You do not want to be sideways. So on top of this, I'm going to put a piston. Now we're upright. Okay, so what we do is first of all, I'm going to have something go kind of along the center line there. And then I'm going to order this this to a certain angle. So we'll try four degrees at first. Four degrees is not high enough, so let's try... Uh, let's see about five. We'll try five. Five looks like it might get us somewhere. I might want to move it back. I think I want to move it back. Alright, so... Delete the sub-object. Goodbye. I mean, I'm going to start it. I'm actually going to start it here now. Alright. Sub-object. Spin turn block. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of... No, no, no. I can keep that in because this will still work. Do that. Give me a piston. And now we're good. Alright, so. Take it. Uh, how about 4.5 degrees? How about negative 4.5 degrees? Now how... Okay, so that does get us above the bow. Um, I think that does look a bit better than what we had. I mean, this is some severe... I mean, this, this is a really massive... Uh, massive one of these. There's a... I probably don't want to move this piece if at all possible, so I'm not going to. Um, okay, anyway, up here I probably want to do a wedge front one meter. Or one like that. So would that go here better? Might go there better. So we're slightly longer at this point than... Uh, what we were technically intending on. Um, okay, so we can do a shape like this. Receiving. Stay still. Saver. Then go to our massive bow shear. Maybe possible to reduce the angle slightly, but only slightly. Okay, so. Okay, so if I do like this, so that's where it merges. Um, Okay, so I could do, what if I did a 3 to 4 meter slope transition there, that still peaks out a little bit. I'd have to do a 4 meter offset, rather than a 3 meter offset, because a 3 meter offset peaks out a little bit too much. Um, although, I'm going to do a 2... A two, and then a two to a three here. Uh, hold on. Actually, no, because they're all angled. It causes an issue. Just because of how 
all these work. It's like I want it to offset more. I want longer offsets. Yeah, because I can't make that work. That's actually a very sharp bow. It would be unique looking, but not great. But because these are two meters, I can't really fix that. I'm kind of forced into this position unless I want to make it uh, much harder to build. And what I can do is I can do this. Okay, that's starting to look a bit better. Um, okay, so this is when it normally would level out, but I'm going to keep it going back here, actually. So then there I will have to have a special uh, set of blocks to... Uh, kind of help it out. Although, only only right, right here. Oh no, I'll get a special set of Mimic blocks ready there. Um. Okay, so then the next set would be here. Probably. Right. So that one's like really far forward, so then I guess we do that. I guess over here we have another one. Well, at what point would this triangle corner not interfere with anything? Right about there. Cool. Okay, so I'll have to add that in cleverly then. But I think this will work. Well, this is gonna. I'm gonna have to get a little clever up there, but uh, screw it. I will. I will do that. Actually, you know what? No, I won't. I won't. I need that there. Unfortunately, just due to how this has laid out, it's causing some issues. Because the point of rotation's here. That's over there. Below the point of rotation. Which causes problems. So let's just quickly, I mean, first of all, put a beam on here. Oh, okay, can I get this in here? Yes, I can. I can put a triangle corner in there. Oh, actually, you know what? Would be better need to do this. And that's gonna need to be a mimic. Alright, time to get the mimics out. Um so that is an alloy four meter inverted. Or an alloy inverted four meter, I think left. 
then I want to uh, take that. that with it. Okay. So then I want to take you, put you there, and switch you to a alloy block. These can be, uh, that can be a beam, that can be a block, or a normal block. But now we have this little, uh, guy for wherever we need him. So that would be here, 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 and here, I believe. Here, here, and here, too. Do that. Yeah, seeing how this is kind of taking on that Atlanta hall form. So now that's connected, we can go back to prefab mode, grab our little block here, yeah okay that, that is the right color, do that with it, um, does need to be here too. And then uh, Drop it there. Hold on, grab it again. Okay, now it's aligned. And then just place every single one of these where I need one. I need one there. Okay, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this block, I'm going to place one here, and I'm going to take this and instead change it to point z or point 0.999, and then mirror that data. Take you, put you there, 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 and here. Then do a normal block there, do a normal block there, do a normal block here. And I do have to figure out a way to get that transition there to be a little smoother. Um, outside of that, well, that is one hell of a bow form. It might not be the prettiest in existence. Let's take a look. Can I work with this is the question. I think I can work with it. Although what I might need to do is I might need to slightly tone down the angle. Okay, so. Angle control. 
So at what point do we start to see issues? So if I do three, yeah, okay, three presents problems. 3.5 presents problems, 3.8 still does. Looks like I might be able to get by with 4 degrees, just about. Does that...? No, I don't think I can. Might be able to... Might be able to do 4.1. I think I'll be able to do 4.1 and then get rid of the uh, one section here. Okay. So that is right here. Um, so that, that needs to be removed. That needs to be replaced with a 2 meter beam. Then... Do that, but okay, yeah, I think that's the lowest I can reasonably get it with the uh, bow shape rather than the 4-5. 4-2 is a little nicer. Um, and though, yeah, this section here is going to be a little bit of a bitch to work out. Figure out how to uh, get the smooth transfer from this to this. Also hoping this would look a little better too. But it didn't, fortunately. Like, this part here looks very good. Actually, I think I know why. I think... Let's just get rid of these. Let's look on the other side and make sure that stuff's actually copying over. There would be one I'd be concerned about. Oh, hold on, hold on. Now that we've adjusted everything, this needs one of these, too. There you go, okay, that's smoother now. I think it's this piece right here, which is the key. Okay, there's a slope here. Alright, so I think I need this. If I want this to work. Okay, select the mirror mesh. I'm gonna have to keep doing that, unfortunately. Do that. And then we're going to need one here. I'll put it there. And then... Do that. Uh, select the mirror mesh. Okay, so that merges at a good spot still. And this, however, this does mean... This kind of keeps going back, and then here I run into an issue. So I have to figure that one out. But over here, it's pretty obvious what I must do. Oh yeah, and add this guy back in. Yeah, okay, over in these sections, it's more obvious as to what I must do. This. But then here we run into an issue. Uh, 
Um, wait, no, hold on, hold on, there are pieces here. Okay, so I got rid of those. So I think my idea is take this, um, I want a four meter down slope. I want this piece to be mirrored. Good enough. Okay, so I'm looking at an Atlanta hall. That is way more pronounced than on an Atlanta. Okay. It's not looking as good as I wanted it to. So I think the angle needs to be less. So, angle control, I'm going to do maybe a negative 3 degree angle. We don't have a, we're not going to have that much freeboard, are we? I'm probably going to... I'm going to put more lead on the bottom. I'm just going to do that right now. I want to get the ship lower in the water, get more of an idea of what she will uh, look like when done. Because I'm not convinced this hull form is good. I think this is helping get her a little lower in the water. Okay, yeah, now she's at a little... She's still floating a little bit out of the water, but not as much. So I'd have to adjust the bow a little bit now. Um, I think I can make this work a little better. With the 3 degree slope. Um, but it does mean... Some significant adjustments here, mostly. So, goodbye to that piece. Um, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, um, goodbye to that. And then I think I would need another one of these over here. So she, she does have a very sharp bow, then. Um, I think that's okay. You know what? Here's what we do. Wedge back. Like that. Then we do a wedge front here. Okay, that works. That blends. Okay. This still allows me to use all the work I'd previously used. And it merges a lot better now. And we still kind of get that sharp bow form. Like, so I guess this ship is just going to have a really sharp hull form, forward hull form. Actually, how does it look from above? Actually, pretty good. 
She'll still look good in the end. I guarantee it. Okay, so what I want to do now is I actually want to uh, construct some of the internal subdivision. Some of the internal subdivision here. Okay, so... Trying to figure this out. Okay, so... At what point... Does this jump up another layer? So I think with this first uh, division here, um, I'm just going to increase this by a layer. And then this will probably have an alloy on top of it. So then this will go up here. Oh, this block needs to be removed. And at this point, I actually do get tall enough to do this, or high up enough to do that. Okay, there we go. I think I figured out how this will work. And up here, and do one last. Oh, it doesn't fill. Why? Why do you not fill? Oh, oh, right, yeah, because that's missing. Okay, so let's go back. Now one consideration is, uh, not only consideration, but the thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to paint, well, I'm, I'm going to turn this portion of the bow into metal, uh, forward portion, kind of where the anchors are. So, she has a very sharp bow, so I'll do this, and right about here we're going to start transitioning it over to wood. Although, you know what, I might do one more layer of this. This would imply that the first turret is about there. And that's fine. I think that's a that's a decent location for that first turret. Um, I will have to get a little clever with how uh, everything's built, but no, that's, that's okay. No, I don't want sub-objects. I want prefabs. So I probably want my one meter alloy wood slope prefab. So this, okay, yeah, it's paint three. Cool. And now we are fully into wood blocks.
Okay, so then that's got to be one of those uh, additional pieces. Okay, so then here we got to do a uh, four meter, four meter alloy wood slope. One right there. Okay, that, that's looking pretty good. Pretty solid so far. Then our anchor chains will go on top of this deck. They'll probably be the same ones I used on Lethbridge, or... Hold on, which ones did I use on you? Okay, those are Lethbridges. Yeah, I'll probably use the same ones I used on Lethbridge for this ship. She's, she's about the right size. Wait, how big is Cold Lake? Cold Lake is... Um... 173 long. So you're 167 long, is what it says right now. But technically... Um... You're a little bit more than that, actually. So you're about... You're actually about 170 long. Okay! So yeah, Abbotsford Coquitlam, about 170 meters long. A little, little shorter than 170 meters, like 169 point something. So about the same size as a Leander. Okay. This is going pretty well. Um, I feel, although I feel like if I want to keep going, I should probably try to at least get somebody in call. So I am getting slightly bored, but I'll keep going. Okay, so we need to figure out what the hell to do here. Okay, so that's our 4 meter offset. You know what? Here's what we do. Is, right here, we add a new decoration. So we do another 4 meter offset, that way, color 3, um, I think that's right, no, 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 that way. Okay, you know what? Do that. And then add new decoration. Um how do I block? I think it's this one. It's kind of a minute. There. Okay, that looks probably as good as I'm going to get that. Alright, so I think at this point, the next step is turrets. So I need these guys, I believe, right? Or do I, I need to go here? Because I have a different model of them, I believe. So I need... Yeah. DBDBV2C5 is what I need. Alright, so our first turret's probably gonna go about there. Um. Is this correct? 
If I look at like the Dido thing on Sketchfab, it's kind of more embedded into the into the structure. I might do that too. Um, if I can. That would work. That would work fine. So then we have... B turret kind of super firing over that. Uh, and yeah, in the Ditos you do actually see this. Um, I'm going to move this one one block back. Can move it one down. I think that's good, actually. Then technically, I don't want this. Or this. It's already 6 a.m. Something about this game is a time warp. Yeah. So I'll have the second one, like, kind of be able to act as a super firing turret, but not really. Um, so we do still have the triple stack up front. We should have enough room for a bridge there. Maybe not the best bridge, but, you know, we could have one. Be pretty compact. I'll have to angle the guns on that. No progress on the hall of the year if I'm not happy with the wings. Okay. And then the aft, so the aft is, I mean the aft and Dito is just two of them super firing, but I need three of them with, uh, what is it? Hold on. That's a YXW. Okay, so we have two lower and then the X, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, it would be, okay, so we are probably going to have to have a very similar situation to the front end of the ship. Probably want to turret about there. Good compared to the propellers? I would say so. So then, probably another one about there. Well, there's all the turrets fitted in, all the main turrets. Um, the ship had no secondary guns in the configuration for this war. Um, did have anti-aircraft guns. She did have uh, torpedoes. Deck guns, you can be build below stuff. Uh, no, these are just deck guns. Um, she's not designed for like actual major in-game combat. She's designed to look pretty in pictures and be the bare minimum of functional. So yes, these are indeed deck guns. Um, is this one mounted on anything? Yeah, actually she is. Okay, cool. Well, that one is. Cool. Okay. The main, main armament in. Uh, I should probably also... I'll figure out the torpedoes too. Um, I'll figure out the torpedoes, I'll figure out the catapult. Um, so, torpedo th times four, I think she'd have the modern version. She's like 1940s. Yeah, she'd have the modern version of the torpedoes. So these would be mounted about where the catapult is, about there-ish. Probably be her torpedo armament. I think I'd do this instead. I move it back slightly to there, and then her catapult would be put on top of these. Do I have that under aircraft catapult? Or do I have that under 
okay, yeah, catapult good is what I have that under. So the catapult good would be situated probably kind of near this turret. Um, maybe here-ish? Oh wait, no, no, I might do... I might do it this way. So there can... I might put it a little... I mean, that's... actually, that's really elevated, so... Probably needs an apt superstructure of some description. I think that's probably the furthest back I can get away with that catapult. Um, I will keep it kind of high. And then we can kind of maybe get a small superstructure in. Although, I don't know. I might, might be able to move it one block further back. So we can get a very small superstructure in there. That's kind of right up against the back of the funnel. But I might just have enough room. Ugh, I think it. I think I am gonna take another stretch break. But you no, know, she's getting built. I'm. We're almost four hours in, and we have a ship which looks like this currently. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a. Uh, let's take a photo and uh, quickly send it to uh, one of the discords I'm in. All right. Um, I have the issue that. Uh, that's uh, from the depth screenshot, and I'm not going into my screenshots folder right now, so I'll do a quick alt print screen. And now, as my uh, upload briefly crashed, because I was uploading that image to them, uh, I will quickly do the be right back, take the stretch, and uh, I don't know. I want to get somebody in call. I don't know who... I don't know what, but I want to get somebody in call. I don't know how. So, yeah.
I'm back, had a quick bathroom break, uh, got a drink here, and I'm probably gonna actually just hop into a, uh, I'm just gonna hop into a, uh, call quickly so I can do, no, I'm just gonna hop into a call on my Discord server, so, like, anyone who wants to can just join me, although if, so, if it, Something gets annoying, then I'll leave, but you know. That should be good. Hopefully. Alright, I will see you then, sideward. I'm gonna keep building this. Um, try to. At the very least. And hope that somebody joins me in chat. The other thought is I hang out in, uh, Little Waves 2 Discord server and see who joins me. I think that's a dumb idea, but... I might do it just for the fun of it. I'm strongly considering doing that for the fun of it. I'm going to do it for the fun of it. Okay, so now I am, I'm risking stuff by uh, being in an actual uh, Discord chat, so. Anybody from the Rule the Waves 2 server can join me. I'm not doing from the depths, or I'm not doing the from the depths server, because I feel like that will, that will become a disaster. No realistic builders actually, like, Maybe not no realistic builders, but the vast majority of realistic builders do not chat in From the Depths, in the actual, like, From the Depths Discord server. So, that's why I'm here in, in, in the Rule of Waves 2. Because these people do have more of a respect for realistic chip building. Alright, so, I'm trying to look at a uh, Dito class. Okay, so it does go out a little bit like this. What if I lowered the turret down a block? Okay, so it's here currently, so let's that move it down here. That's actually still decent. I'm gonna do that, and then to justify that this turret can't fire over, I'm moving it a block down. Right, I'm gonna do that a stern too, because this turret's just a little too high. Ah, 
that's in the spot. Alright, so I should probably uh, set an idle angle of 3 degrees. Then you, I want your idle angle to be uh, about like 7. Let's just do 10. I don't know, these even? They should each be three, but they didn't look completely even to me. I'm happy with that catapult. Okay. That probably does look a little better. Okay, so how does that look? Oh, so I should probably look at Atlanta and see how they did, did it on her. Very, very similarly to what I'm doing here. Okay. This is probably going to work. Oh, one thing I should probably do. We paint this. This should be color 5. Yeah, that'll work. Now, color 5 looks plain gray right now. I will repaint it in camo. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can distinguish between color 5 and color 3. Um, so that if I paint her in, like, a pre-war camo or an early war camo, um, I can do that. Basically. I have another thought, actually. I'm going to hop onto uh, Slash's Discord server and hang out and streaming instead. Or somewhere. Because some of those people might actually be online right now. Or in general. I'll hop in stream. I'll hop in streaming. See who joins me, and then ex or not in streaming in general. No, I'll hop in streaming. See who joins me. Nah. Uh, my own server is like so underpopulated that there's no point in just hanging out there and waiting for people to join. I'll take my risk with the. Uh, I'll take my risk with the Wither Waves too. I'm, I'm not even using my own server. I just want somebody to talk to, and I know that nobody on my own server is going to be online right now. Sadly.
Well, no, they'll be online. They'll just not want to chat because I, I don't hang out in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's something I have to fix. Fuck. That's on multiple ships too. That's not only on this ship. I have to I have these turrets on a lot of ships. I should have checked. Ah. Uh, all right. So, um Okay, seriously. Okay, so I gotta shift you right, no, left. What I gotta do is shift you back. Oh, no peace exists there. Okay. Back again. Um, down. Down. Alright, so now let me do a, uh... Pull her out of play. Put her back into play again. All right, so that fixed this turret. Okay. So on, I now have to fix this, so, uh... Okay, so then you get one there, and you get one here. So let me, uh... Just set these to zero as the idle angle. Okay, so that's the one I want. Uh, save. And then we'll just quickly go to all these and uh, mess with them. So you need to be three. You need to be... And I think the one I currently have should um, should still be at 10, because I haven't reselected a new one. So when I place down this sub-object here, it should still be at 10 degrees. Yes. And this one's at 3, but I'd have to modify that anyway, so I might as well just do that. And then... I can just go to prefab uh, sub object mode again and then grab the current version of it and get rid of this guy. There we go. Now it's fixed. So that's something I'm going to have to fix in the future. God damn it. I've got all I've, I now have multiple ships which I need to fix that on. Anything which uses these turrets, I think needs is, is going to need fixing now. Um Okay, so actually, hold on. I'm going to do a block there and then a beam. 
And then that block there will be for a, a nice little staircase. Um, so I guess part of the question is, do I want... Do I want this to look more like deck, or do I want it to look more like, uh... Metal deck. Wood deck or metal deck? Probably better would be like wood deck or something. Okay, yeah, one meter alloy wood slope. And unfortunately, that's painted in color three, so I can just swap that over real quickly. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Actually, no, hold on. What I should do is, uh, I should do this. Give me a three meter here, and then four twos here. There's that gun in place. Uh, now I can place that down. So that probably shouldn't be wood decking, actually. That should probably be this. And then we can go back to the... Well, actually, hold on, hold on. We can go back to these guys, but I'm just going to grab this and put it here. Okay, so we're getting most more of the blocks uh, on. I should probably also build the funnels. Let's build the funnels real quickly too, or at least kind of get their, you know, rough shape laid out. So she has oval funnels, two oval funnels. Um, so in terms of this, um, probably start like here-ish. So I need whatever center, the center point of the funnel is to be, uh, free. So if I did this, is that a little too big? I think that's a little too big. Okay, let's do a three meter beam here. Slope. Slope. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Do this. Could do that, or I could do this. That's a nice big funnel. Big beefy funnel. And just take this and Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then over on the forward end, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to reverse it around like this. So I get a little, so the funnels are placed a little closer together, and I get a little bit more room. Now my question is, are those too big? The answer is, those funnels are gigantic. Um, look at a Dito class, yeah, Dito class funnels are way smaller than that. Um... That's kind of like having Lexington's funnel, or compar comparative to the size of the ship. That's kind of like having Lexington's funnel. So I'm thinking, do I want them? I think I do only want them three wide. So when I say three wide, I mean like this. So what I could do is I could do this. And that's probably a little bit more valid of a funnel shape. Though I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to put in a... Do this.
Okay, so then that would probably be more there-ish. And I think these are just small enough that I can fit them in like that. I'm actually going to delete this. So I know what I'm going to do instead. Well, not instead. It's still the same funnel. It's just I'm moving its location slightly. Alright, so with this one... I'm going to do this. With this one... I'm going to do this. To get them just a little closer together. And then... The mid or the middle point in the funnel can be used for smoke in either case, for the actual like smoke block, and then the rest of it, or then I uh, do root the uh, exhaust through it. But the exhaust on one of them is going more, or is more in the back end of the funnel, and on the other one is more in the forward end of the funnel. Uh, that should that should ma majorly help though. Okay. Now I can actually go back to uh, looking at the uh, ship again. So I need this. I think that's a reasonable superstructure to make right there. Um that that kind of works uh then i'm gonna take wood and just kind of place it down here hold on let's do let's do that Okay, so we got that sorted out. How long is the streaming going for? Uh, four hours, twenty minutes. <laughs> no, um, that was that was that wasn't even intentional. I just, I was just like, oh, how long? Yeah, that long. Just seeing, you know, if I can reasonably get the ship done by the end of the stream, because that's kind of my goal. But yeah, wow, uh, she's looking good. The other thought is that I go to From the Depths Realism and hang out in there. You know what, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Probably nobody will show up, uh, in case somebody does. Because I think it's it would be more fun if I had somebody to talk to this live stream. It's looking like a good forward superstructure point. This will probably be built on a larger uh, aft superstructure. Um, I actually see we're a bit bow heavy right now, so I'll probably have to put more mass astern um, to kind of get her to level off a little bit. Hold on. Hair was uh, being weird. All right. 
No, 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 no. Paint five. All right, so I want to do Are these two the same closeness as before. I think so. I want to see how far back. Oh, I think no, no. I would need to move this one back a little bit, like an extra block. Yeah. Or move this one. No, I think I think this is good. So I'll just do this then. It'll be close. It'll be close enough. Um, I feel like this would... Okay, so around the torpedo tubes is gonna get interesting. Um, it's possible I could try to build something kind of over the torpedo tubes, too. That could look good. Um, eventually I am gonna have to swap those torpedo tubes out for a better model, and that will happen hopefully relatively soon. Uh, but... Right now. Is that, that what I did for the previous one too? The shape I'm about to do? I think so. I should also probably get this in. One of those in there, one of those in here. You know, just have that air pump in case this starts flooding. Although, if this is flooding, I'm pretty certain that the ship is doomed. Okay, so actually, if I'm looking at these torpedo tubes, how far out do they rotate? Okay, so the rotation isn't all that much, actually. So, if I set them to 90, negative 90. It does kind of limit me a little bit, because this is looking like I could build it here. I can't. I can build it here. So that looks like more something I'd have to uh, support. Now, I actually... The funnel... I need to do, what are they, decorations, mimic alloys. So is this a, oh, that's a spin block, okay, cool. Um, I need an alloy pole. One meter pole, pitch it downwards. Like 3.5, which this is, I think this is 3.5. Yeah, that's 3.5, so I probably, so if I do 3, 4, that's slightly in. I might do 3, I do three 2. Or I could just do 3. Well, 3, it does overhang significantly, but who cares? Alright, so there's the catapult in uh, location. Um, well, connected now. You know, I'm wondering if we're having block, you know, blocks about to fall off because the uh, spin block isn't connected. Let me, let me check if that's the case. I know we still have those two aft turrets unconnected to... 
Spin block starts. No. There we go. Should be connected. Let's just try. Yeah, that didn't solve anything. So it is the two aft turrets. Which aren't connected, plus some blocks around this one. So. That makes more sense. So I think I want a beam like this here. 127 now. Um, let me go grab that uh, the thing from up here, the one meter slope. This guy. Ship is really coming along though. Okay, so now I can switch over to wood. That. Get some wood in there. Um, and then this needs to be a two over here. That needs to be fours. That needs to be a four. And then that needs to be that. Now we are not at risk of any blocks falling off. Everything is finally connected now. Um, although we still gotta stretch some stuff forward. Yeah, and you don't actually get this boat done. But yeah, wow. This is this is actual progress. Um Yeah. I'm still waiting for someone to hop in voice call and join me. Oh, they're on nice looking beast. Thank you. Yeah, getting getting her done. Getting another, another boat done. A little an anti aircraft cruiser. I'm happy with how she's looking. There she's next to uh Pincor and uh Cold Lake. I was gonna spawn in another ship. I'm not going to anymore. I, I got the part, I, I made the part myself, which I need to spawn in, which I need to do more often. Rather than thinking, oh, let's spawn another ship. No, just make the part if it's, if it's an easy one. You, you don't get what I'm saying. Nobody, nobody should. So I'm trying to think, because I think this portion right here, although I do want to build some deck across it, is just going to be like some form of elevated thing. So this superstructure here needs to actually end. It probably needs to end about there. Actually, it probably needs to end a block back from that, like here, actually. Then I can get more doors in here. No, hold on. That gives me uh, two door locations. So hello there, doors. And the aft superstructure is going to go back here too. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that and uh, replace that door part of the aft superstructure. All right, you know what? I'll put the door here. So it gives me a little bit of room around those torpedoes, uh, but then do a slope like this. Well, that kind of helps. That, that kind of helps the shape a little bit. So we'll do that. And uh, actually, I will do this here. That will be where the aft superstructure 
will go in that tiny little section. Um, then we'll probably just have a bunch of uh, AA guns kind of lining the sides here. Yeah. And the uh, crane needs to be put somewhere in here. Oh god, a crane. In terms of crane usage, I mean, these are too old. Probably want... I want the other full plane crane I have. Oh yes, it is also um you know this is a ship in night for the nineteen fifties. She has a float plane catapult and will be operating float planes for at least part of the war. <laughs> Cause plane development was so goddamn slow. Sure, let's have the equivalent of like World War Two planes, early World War Two planes in the mid fifties. Fun. All right, she's a cruiser. I think it is a good idea to grab depth charges. Light, light cruisers at this time would have these, and I think that is actually simulated in World of Waves 2. So... Yeah, I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing those from, uh... in court. Putting them astern. And then I'll have to get a little floor, or there's a needy piece I can get for that. I don't have that on Pincor, right? Yeah, no. Pincor is a little bit more transom of the stern than this. So what I can do is I can add an alloy plate. I'm actually going to thicken it. And there we go. Now she has act. Now she does have depth charge rails astern. I feel. I do feel like a cruiser like this would have them. Now, um, what is this mimic supporting? Some that piece. That's going to be a decoration now. So there's now a flag back there. Okay. So in these areas here, I'm just going to add little stairs like this. And then there will be fencing around it so that these stairs will actually look good when done. Um, or when put in. I might need to spawn in one of my carriers to grab some of the fencing I have on that. Um, I will probably have to spawn in a carrier, actually. Uh, okay. So back here, um, let's just do that, this, create that deck, um, oh god, I painted this four like a moron, should be five, four is deck coloring, this isn't deck, why, why did I, why did I paint my superstructure like it was deck, I don't know, there we go. Alright, so that gets me the ability to build that aft superstructure in. I still need to get anchors in and uh, anchor chains. Oh yeah, one of the things I... When I built Pincor on stream, one thing, I got done with her and then realized I had forgotten to put the anchors on. So uh, yeah, those are added on. Uh, there was also some supporting issues with uh, this, I believe. Or some, maybe some staircase issues. There's something with this where I had to fix it's up uh, quickly and then this is like the 1956 version i think i only built the uh earlier 44 version on so it has a better director mostly um this one might have i might have swapped out the guns i think i did swap out the guns yeah so if you watched the previous stream where i built pin core um yeah, there's there's a few small changes, but you know this is the 56 version. Uh, the other one I built on the stream was the 44 version, but I, I missed a couple of things and uh, put them on myself afterwards. So that's already been fixed. Uh, inevitably, I'll miss something here and have to put it on. 
So, uh, in terms of anchor chains, these are the ones from Lethbridge. The other thought is I built a new set of anchor chains, and that was for which ship? Spawn her in. Uh, that was for the uh, heavy cruisers. Um, but I mean, I think I think this would be a better set. Yeah, so I I think I will go with the Lethbridge anchor chains here, because I mean she's she's a light cruiser. These these are probably the anchor chains more similar to the anchor chains she would have. So that would be anchor chain L Lethbridge and R Lethbridge, I believe, of the two. So the left one, I think, like this, right? Yeah. And if I look at uh, the thing of Dito, because I have uh, Dito up in the uh, sketch fam. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the L this way. And uh, rotate it to the other side. So it needs to be about here-ish. It probably needs to be a little bit more forward. Dito did have them set up a little oddly. I need to make it longer. I mean, this is a very sharp bow, though. Uh, R Lethbridge. Um, on the other side. So, uh, angle control. Um, I will set it to 1. Angle control, negative 1. Uh, negative 2. Uh, no, 1.5. 1 1.5 1 will work. Now go into it. And time to make it longer. Some of these have mimics on them. Okay, so I need to grab two pieces at the end, right? These two. Ah, grabbed a tissue in time through that one. I think right there is a better location. Oh, the anchors are kind of at the front of Dito, so the bow. Hold on. I think there. I think that's better. No. Hold on. What was the spot I had him in before? One, two. Three, four. I think there. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, although if I do that, um, I'm setting them to negative two. Now, get rid of those two. So I think it's... Hold on. Do all these... No. There's the one which has one. There we go. That's the one which has one. Oh. I see what's happened here. Uh, delete that. Okay, so then... You had a little extension. Yeah, right, you had a little extension. Where's the next big extension? There it is. I need that there. Actually, you know what? Delete that. And delete that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So now I know what to do for the other side. So go here. Let 
length too. Right, right about there it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty aligned. Oh, I see my issue there. These are off center a little bit too much. I have to shift one of these over. So I will have to just save this one and uh, move it. All right, so then you have to get deleted. Okay, so then I gotta find this guy. Go there, go there. R, ah. Uh, so that's just like a temporary save sort of thing. Okay, so go here. Sub objects. Co R Coquitlam. Technically, that's L Coquitlam, but who cares? There are Coquitlam's anchor chains. I'll, uh, I'll change the angle control to three degrees and, uh, negative negative three degrees here. Uh, hair was getting annoying, so I had to adjust my headset. Um, let me go and grab a couple of Non-existent anchors from, uh, Lethbridge. Not Lethbridge, uh, Cold Lake. No, what I need, I need to grab another ship then. What, what what's the one most likely to be, uh, most likely to have the anchor size they need? Lethbridge is too small. Lethbridge's anchors would be too small. And Olympia's not done. Olympia is, uh, that's been, uh, beef spilled, and he's just not done it recently. Um, I think Toronto. Toronto's probably the closest. Receiving. Receiving. Turning off. I'll be honest, the... The long, the more I look at Toronto, the more I like her. Like this is this is one of those crews. This is just one of those ships where I'm really happy with how she turned out aesthetically. Although I do want to mess with the anchors again. Um, I have better anchor models now, or better uh, anchor chain models now. But yeah, I'm. I I like the A B the ABY look on heavy cruisers like this. I mean, it kind of looks it kind of looks like a Northampton with uh doubles. And I think that's a good look. <sighs> need a good stretch. Okay. So I need to grab her anchor and uh go and put it on my go and put it on my boat. Thank you for lending me your anchor. Now it Sorry. Uh, now it will go on uh, Coquitlam. So I'll start by putting the anchor about there. Is that a good spot? Um, let me look at Dito. If I move it up and back a little bit, I think that would be the correct spot for the uh, blocks themselves. It's a little big, though. I'm going to go down to a 2.5 on this. I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna go back up to three here. Um, Alright, so then... Oh, okay, so up, down... Okay, up, down positioning, she needs to go up, and she needs to probably go back, and then left and right a little bit. It's about there. Um, give her more pitch. 
I think her yaw is pretty good, actually. Want to mess with the yaw at all? Not much. I think that's a pretty good spot for the uh, anchor chain itself. So for the anchor, um... Okay, so I think that's good. I think I want more pitch and roll, probably. Be about there-ish. So then I will scale down the anchor a little bit. Almost looks good. I don't have the angle right. But I think I have the size right. Okay, so I think I want the left right position to be more in. Oh, I need her. I need the anchor pitch back more like this. Still not perfect, but looking a little better now. Okay. So in this case, I think I need to bring the yaw even more forward like that. Roll a bit like that. Let's do just this now. Okay, cool. Um, bring the yaw back and the roll back a little. So, forward, backward, up, left, right. Let's get about there. I'll be honest, I probably want to name down a little more. That more like... Roll. Push back. Down position a little higher, left right position a little more out. Just a little bit more forward. Down slightly. Put in a little bit. Maybe about there. I think that that looks good enough. Why did that mirror? Apparently that mirrored. I thought it to be a little flatter, but oh well, who cares? Good enough. She's got anchors now. She's already... Coquitlam here is already becoming a very nice-looking ship. All right, so superstructure-wise, we have options. We have options. So, we go with something like an Atlanta, where you kind of have those little portholes around the bridge. We go with something like a Dito, where there really isn't a proper open bridge, and then you can have that top section... Or the, there isn't a proper closed bridge, but there is a proper open bridge. Um, 
So both those are thoughts. Um, hmm. I might uh, quickly just pull uh, Toronto out of play. Receiving. I could grab bits from uh, Cold Lake over here and can I, can I use like these as part of the superstructure? Maybe like these but in kind of a Dito shape. In terms of the original image, well I don't need to obey the original image because it's a stock gener- or it's like a stock of Rule the waves too. The ship was original. It was what the ship originally looked like. So I could do a box. Um, I mean, it should be a mid forties cruiser. What does the what does the Juno look like? Juno's actually looked really good. Ooh, Juno class. That is a pretty cruiser. Um, let me, let me look up the Juno class cruiser. And go to images, and just kind of see what images are there. Because that might be like a post-war sort of look, what I was seeing. I think it was, um... Though the Junos are kind of more of a uh, separate class. I'm seeing a lot of Atlantas. Oh, okay, there's the Juno. Yeah, Junos looked a lot better than the Atlantas for whatever reason. I like the look more. I like that superstructure look more. Looks more intimidating on the Juno class. The other thought is, I'm just I'm trying to think. What's her conning tower armor? What's her conning tower armor? Three inches, so I can basically get by with whatever I want then. But I probably should draw something which looks like it has a little bit of armor to it. But you know, we have that picture of the Atlanta, which does it has a little bit of conning tower armor, so. I could do an Atlanta sort of um, structure. Um, maybe grab bits from this. Grab bits from Cold Lake. Oh, I mean, that's what? Seven wide there? We're looking at five wide probably is best. I could do five wide. I think I know how. I think I can figure this out. So, let's do, let's take this. Alright, so, put it here. So, I need to be on this side. So, okay, we're gonna have our, let's see, so, one, that's a layer, that's a layer, this would be a layer. So, that would be where the, where her superstructure would be. Grab a straight piece. Although, actually, you know what? Probably would have been better if I grabbed this side. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I see. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I need to grab this here. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's going to require me getting rid of a couple pieces. So. All right. So. All those. Alright, so delete that. Delete that. Delete that decoration. Take that. Copy it. Delete all this. Give me one in the center. Do that. And then now get me one of these guys. And it is 7.46 a.m. All 
All right, so that will be our uh, structure. Uh, if I go in here, is this... Good, 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 good. Okay, it's our mimics. I think this is enough to represent, you know, three inches of armor. Even if this is some of the thickest armor on the... No, this is the thickest armor on the ship, and the rest of it's represented with either metal or something. I think aesthetically that's enough. Oh, hey, I'm on the wrong color. Good, good, good job, me. Oh, yeah, this should, this should all be, uh... Uh, hold on, let's just do, uh... What are you guys painted? So, three... What's the window painted? Let's just get all get all these painted right. All these painted to color five, which I will eventually have to do on Cold Lake too when I get back to her. Okay. So there's kind of our initial uh, superstructure idea. Um, I'll have to build it out more. The other thought is I might move it back a block. No, I'm definitely going to move it back a block. Or two. Possibly, yeah. Ooh, two two is a good consideration. Alright, so. Height, 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 height. Width. Actually, hold on. I think two of these are miscolored still. Yeah, two of those were miscolored. So yeah, I'll take this. I'll move it back. Um, one block, probably. So what we can do is we can do that, we can reactivate connection checks, we can do that, get rid of all of these guys. Alright, so now we have this. So I place it here. I think it, this would actually look better. Doesn't give us a lot of room for a mass though. Um, which we would need. So I could place it here. I think here is better. And that mirrored pretty well, so. Okay, I hate to say this, I need to use the bathroom. I will have to uh, be right back and uh, continue work on this boat in like 10 minutes at worst. So yeah, be right back again, because I keep having to do that.
Alright, I am back again. Nobody has joined me in chat, so... Well, not in chat, in uh, the uh, voice call. Kinda surprised. I guess if I hopped into, uh, from the depths Discord, there's people there, but I don't want to take my chance with a, uh, with that Discord server. I'm, I'm fine with, like, the, from the depths realism. I'm fine with the Rule the Waves Discord server. Um, I'm not as fine with, like, the, you know, normal game servers just because you're more likely to get squeakers and less likely to get people who are, would actually build um you know actually like stuff to my uh quality project wingman could be a fun one to hang out in too and see who joins but uh, uh the person who would probably join see me and then join is a uh, Probably not someone I would want in stream. Like, they'd be fine in stream. They're just a little, like, ADHD in terms of uh, conversation and subjects, and it can get a little grating at times. They can't help it, but eh. My choice. Okay, um, I actually need more doors on this, because we don't have enough doors. I, I, I need to think about door placement instead of, you know, focusing on that superstructure right now. Like here, here's a good spot for a door. Let's put a door in. Yes, doors are great. Doors are, doors are fantastic. Let's put another door in here, because this is another area where I can actually fit one in. That's not much of a step you have to make, so hooray, and we'll put a door. Oh! Apparently built it like that. Okay, we'll put a door in there, too. There's some doors. You can get, get doors. You want a door here? I think here's a good spot for a door. Yes, that's a that's a very good... That's the trunking for all that. Um, never mind, that's not a good spot for a door. I guess technically it would be, since... It would trunk, but eh. What about back here? Back here? No, that's not a good spot for door either. Okay, so this section here just doesn't have doors on it. How how about that? That's fun. No doors. No, no, no doors there. Yeah, I don't know. Or just hang out in the Rude Waves 2 Discord, but I don't think anyone's going to be hopping in voice for a while. Much more likely than from the depth of realism, it seems like, though. I'm trying to think who would. Who actually would in this Discord? I'm not going to in uh, another person's private Discord, no matter how much I consider it. Also, on Twitch, it's not showing my username as streaming for some reason. Oh yeah, probably because my account got unlinked and everything, which is stupid because of the whole thing. Okay. 
I'm gonna hop back up and rule the waves and just see if anyone wants to join, because that's a little bit more active. And I find it would be... I still find, think this stream would be way better if, you know, I had somebody in chat with me. Okay, I can put a door in here. I was supposed to delete those on mirror. Why didn't it? Alright. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this. Slope like that. 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 And then this. So we have a little bit, little bit more complexity going on. And... Okay. I'm going to get rid of this tower down here. I think it's... Okay, you know what? Hmm. How do I want to handle this? How do I want to design this? Because I could do the tower. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll do this layer here. But then the, the bottom layer is going to move out by two blocks. Like so. Okay. Actually, no, this is a prefab I have saved, so I should probably just grab the prefab instead of, you know, grabbing it off of another boat. My decorations prefab list. That would be a uh, two meter long alloy plate. It's always a nice one. Do this. That could look good. Yeah, that might look better than what I was planning on doing. Now, is that a tight enough gap to squeeze through? Hopefully. Alright, so I'm looking at like a Juno class. I guess they kind of do something similar. You don't really have that front walkable platform like you do here. But I think that looks good. Um, does look like I should probably do this. What I'll probably actually do is put that in here. Hold up. Did I play? Oh, that, okay, that is paint 5, right? No, is this paint 5? It's not. Now it's paint 5. Okay, that 
should work. That that can look good if I give it a good enough top bit up here. Like already that's already that right there improves the aesthetics. Um might do like this. That look any good? I think so. Do that, could do that. Or do this. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks solid. What if I did this instead? Part of me, oh, I want to do something. too low. What if I did this? I was kind of thickened it up. Uh, no. Okay, you know what? I'm deleting this. I am going to still add something in here. Okay, so. We're going to take a Mimic Alloy. Put that here. Pull. I want to. I want to mimic alloy pull. Like that. Pitch it. Th pitch it up. Okay. So that would be point two, right? If I do point three, then add the f uh, change that to a. Th Three five. It's down there at about window level, so I want this to be at four. Actually, that's just a step up at four. I think that's okay. Um, what I'm kind of wanting to do is this. There's a shape like this. Then, uh, that work. Kinda? Not really. So, we need. I'm seeing an image of a uh, Juno.
Wanting to take a closer look. Okay, I see how they... ...installed it. Okay, I see what they're what part of the ship they're referring to now. All right, so let's let's go back to this step. I do think this is kind of important. Um, so we're going to need to get... No, let's get our fire control on. We're going to need fire control, we're going to need radar. So... In terms of fire control... So, I don't think I want the, like, the AA director from British Columbia, but I might. I might need to get a new set of fire control models. Or directors, I should say. Winnegan's director is a really good looking one, but it's kind of small. But I think that would be what she'd have. You get the main directors, like the one on Montreal. Might be, eh, she might have something more similar, like Montreal's main director. I think she would, actually, in respect. Okay. Alright, where is the, uh... Okay, this one I'm gonna scale down a little bit. I think that's a pretty close approximation of what I'd expect. I might add a couple more uh, mimics on here. And then uh, have a new director, which I then put on some ships. Rather than just this one. So, the radar here. Uh, okay, that's the radar gimbal tracker. And it has this piece mounted on it. I will leave it like that, actually. Um, so what I want here is I probably want alloy pole. I will just at point seven. And put something on top of that. If 
before moving the location of this. Because of course I will. Um, I need, I need like a dome shape sort of thing, and I'm trying to think of what the best pieces in game for that are. Um, because I know there's good ones. The thought is to take like a simple weapon cannon and really shrink it down. It's a weird thought. Ooh, ooh, 32 pounder swivel. Or 16 pounder swivel. I'll do a 32 pounder swivel. Um. Um. It's not the piece I was looking for. There we go. Um, down positioning, pitch it forward, um, So then I could do forward backward scaling two. Okay, that does clip through one point eight maybe. One point four. That kind of helps the look out a little bit. Um, I need to recolor this. I'm trying to remember. What color is what? So if I go to another ship, I probably want this color, right? Six. Same con co same color as the top of the funnels. Alright, so... Um, I'll just call it... Call it Director Coquitlam. Alright, so, Director Coquitlam, we need to put in position. So, Coquitlam has how many directors? I think two, right? Yeah, she has two fire control positions. So, I think at a minimum we need it there. I put it there. Yeah, I think that's a half decent spot for it. And then we're gonna need one aft. Um, probably not quite as high up, but um, somewhere. All right, she's gonna need another mast, which will probably have to be jammed in there. So this would normally go like here. But I think I'm gonna bring it down a couple blocks. Probably about there. Mast here is going to be kind of difficult to fit in. Probably can with like a pole mast. And then we still have enough room for the float plane catapult to operate. I might do is I might do this. I 
Actually, I do think that kind of looks good, especially if I build some platforms out around it. Um, okay, so we got that. I need to copy and paste a block over onto her, and I'm going to blatantly steal it from... Uh, Pin core here. It's this this little uh, double stair, which is one of my uh, favorite block or favorite uh, prefabs to use now. Okay, so how do they get around Juno's superstructure? I don't know. I gotta put these down somewhere, in some way which makes logical sense to get around. And that can be tricky. Okay, so that's gonna go, that's gonna be put on a pole. Okay, I will just put, no, I'll put a set of this right here. Right here initially. Actually, you know what, right here. Because I think that needs to be constructed out. And, uh, needs to get that guy in. Okay. And the Coquillum's going to be a cool-looking ship when done. So there's the tower for that in place. Um, let's just hook it up. Um, build the superstructure around that, definitely on the lower layers. Uh, hey, Derricky. I'm building boat today. It's been a while since I built boat, so... No, I'm building one again. That almost matches up, but I think I want to do it maybe here. Yeah, that's better. So, so hold on, hold on. Do this. And that gets me my doors. So that's the next layer of that. Um, let's just... Yeah, mm, I, have a, I have a weird idea. Let's do this. Let's just build this layer slightly logically. Make it look a little cooler. Right. Okay, I can fit a door in here. But my... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's my thought. We put the door here, actually. Then we do this. Then we do this. That gives our superstructure a little bit more of a unique look. And then I'll build that top section out um, in the very near future. All right. So we know I need one of these pieces. Right about...
right about there. Here I can get by with this. So now I can hopefully work a staircase in here somewhere, right? Can I? Or uh, can I not? Still put one here. I will put one there. I will take this guy, I'll move him out, or back a block. Do that, do that. That works. Those look so good. Thank you. Yeah, this ship's coming along pretty well. Uh, how long have I been streaming for? Uh, nearly six hours. Um, I mean, if I can get her done before the seven hour mark, that would be about the same time, same length of time it took to build this ship. So, it's kind of my goal. You know, get her done before seven hours. Just one streamed uh, ship again. Also, I will have to put these uh, slightly modified directors on other ships, because I think they look a little better than my standard ones. Cold Lake, I think... Yeah, okay, that's that's the director Cold Lake's gonna get to. Cold Lake's gonna get some of these. Um... Oh, man, my jaw's starting to hurt a little bit. That's not a good sign. That is far from a good sign. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to adjust my posture, see if that helps a little bit more. Uh, they're not currently on the workshop, nope. I, I should probably do that at some point, but... Uh. Well, the people who have asked for them have... I have given them to people who have asked, so... Okay, so we can do that easily. Um, this layer is a little trickier. I think I do want a couple up, up the sides like this. It does suggest that it needs to go out there. I could do this. At which point we're talking about this working. That works, though. Um, I'll do that there. So we will put a pole mast. I will, yeah, I will put a pole mast up through there. Yeah, she's starting to look very, you know, Atlanta Juno-ish. The Dito had Dito had an interesting mast structure, but a little different. Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta was just kind of pole masts. Uh, pull mess with a uh, radar on top. Oh, we're probably gonna get multiple like radar and various equipment here. All right, why am I doing that? I need this. We need a door. Actually, no. I think we need we need another set of doors right there. Now it is time for this piece. And here. And here. And here. That worked. So then this needs to stretch back to here. Um, and I'll just leave this as kind of like a little janky looking area. Now, getting up top. That's actually trickier. Right. Look at the Atlanta model. Does it have any... Let's get up there. I think so. Oh, it has ladders. Ladders are lame, but okay, I'll put a ladder in. Then what I can do is I can give it to this piece, and uh, take this guy, 
And there we go, that's fixed. That looks smooth now. Um, I might do... I might do that there. Do that, do that. And still kind of build a platform out around here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. What will be the ship's name? This is, uh, Coquitlam. So we will need to put a pole mast in, but that'll come very shortly. And then more supports over there, but yeah, that's looking good. Now, okay, so it does. she does need anti-aircraft directors, four of them, specifically. Um, I will probably be placing these uh, two on each side of the ship, and considering her main directors also being able to work as them too. Uh, I should probably figure those out right now, actually. Actually, I should probably grab some pieces from another ship, like, uh... These! Alright, so height 2, that should grab the pieces I need. Okay, put that in. Or put that right there. Um, okay, very likely a ship's boat area would be in here, so I'm thinking that it would be best to put these on the sides of the funnels. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And the funnels will probably be a little taller, so these need the director crest in, I believe. That is the typical AA director I use now. Yeah, there's some interior directors on either side of the funnels. Um, I'll have to figure out the crane for the float plane catapult too. So Atlanta did have a small crane in the center for stuff. I mean, I'm looking at an Atlanta model right now. She'd have torpedoes. I'm trying to see. Does she have any like additional secondary directors? Where? There's a little. Backup main director, I think. Maybe maybe it was just those two up high. Maybe she only maybe she only did have like one main director and I'm just getting confused. No, I think that's like a double main director and uh a director. A little confused as to what I'm building I'm supposed to be building. Right. Just to make sure, I gotta put this in here. No, don't forget that. I also thought where I could put a pole in back here, but I think 
I think going for like a pole mast over here is better. And then a crane off to the side. Okay. So if we want like a pole mast, I think normal pole is a little too uh a little too thick. That might not be for this purpose. Is uh, it probably is. So I'll probably go to like a point eight. So I'll take this. Start uh you know, I'm, I'm land and stuff, it's like or Juno and stuff, it's like right here. I might shift it forward slightly. About there. Not slanted back like the real one. Or like any real ones, but eh, it'll it'll be good enough. I think. Might rebuild some of the platforms over there too. I might move this forward slightly. It's a little too far back. Um, so I might move that to like three five maybe. Yeah, that works better. a mast in like that. Then get another one in back here. Still gives me plenty of room. I might be able to uh, remove some of the top of the mast to fit some stuff in. I don't want a radar on top. And I am going to stretch the superstructure out a little bit more, too, because I think I can get away with it. Having it, you know, visually look good in doing so. Get away with that. Then do this. And I will have to support this all. Seriously? There we go. Place. I think I do need that there, but I can do that there. Because that will probably be uh, searchlights. Let me go put a couple searchlights in, actually. There you go, searchlights are in. First set's in. I think it is better if I do this on this layer.
considering stretching this back another couple blocks. I will. So that will all have to be uh, much better supported. Um, I will be doing that probably later this stream, or next stream, depending on uh, how I decide to handle things. Um, and about now, I'm expecting the bird to wake up, and I'll have to uh, have take care of her. Have to help. I'll play with her, actually. Because uh, it turns out Conyers need a lot of attention. Um... I'm going to start with a block. There's a block like this. And then I will uh, modify that into uh, you no know, decent shape. Well, let's actually put a crane on her. So we could do... Um, green, considered island aircraft. So this is the good looking crane, right? Really big crane, but I'm probably going to need one of those. Um, the crane and domino boats is a very similar one, right? Yeah, just a little smaller. So there's the British Columbia crane, which is also a very good looking crane. So I want kind of a uh, crane in between these two. The Brit, the Brit coal crane is a little too small. So I look at that model of Atlanta again. I might be able to buy with it with moving the. Uh, would have to go here. Yeah, it's it's too big. That one's too big. And then the Creston cranes are too small. The illustrious cranes are definitely too small. What I want. Shawinigan's crane. Oh yeah, that's way too small. Got this crane. Just too big. Big crane on Alberta and the big one on St. Lawrence, which are just going to be too big. So I think what I need to do is I need to take a look at this crane and modify it. And we got to have it up about there. But I'm going to reduce this guy down to about 2.5 maybe. Yeah, it looks a little bit more appropriate. Um... Do two six. Um, okay, so I gotta work out. What is it? Which one of these do I gotta work out? Where is the piece I'm looking for? Up here? There we go, this guy. Alright. Pitch, play with the pitch a bit. Ok. 
Okay, up down position, little lower about there. That's good enough. Um Alright, so then I need to change this guy's scaling. Down a lot. Where is the piece I'm looking for? There we go, this guy. Up, down, positioning, move it back. About there. Up, down, a little more. Maybe there. Then I can uh, stretch this uh, which guy out. This This guy out a little more. Move the other two pieces in. Up, down. Backwards. Uh, a little bit less pitch. A um, little, little longer. I don't actually think that's possible, thinking about it now. Um, so you need to be here. And... Oh, not that long. And then... You... Down... Backward. Okay. So, sub objects mode. Save what I'm building on. Crane. Well, you need to be, uh, Coquitlam. Alright. Okay, Coquitlam's crane is now saved. That should fit within that space and allow me to put some boats and such in there. I was like, what is that giant thing sticking out of the superstructure? It's the word front. It was telling me which way the front of the thing was facing. It took me a moment. So that, that okay, so that's that platform done. Um yeah, Coquitlam's looking pretty good so far. Uh I would say uh, No decent like cruiser. Um She'll be a good addition to the fleet. Part of me is like, is there any server I can hop in and chat to people on? 
That would keep that would help keep me going a little longer, but nope. That's uh, I mean it's nine AM on a Tuesday. Which isn't helpful at all. Okay, uh, what am I looking for? What am okay, I I need a crane. Problem is I need an aircraft crane. So that is an aircraft crane, for example. Uh, let me look up uh Sketchfab Cleveland class. Okay, people have put Cleveland class models on Sketchfab. Thank you so much. Let me load one. And hope that my uh, stream doesn't die. Alright, so the crane on the back end of that probably wasn't actually as big as this crane. You yeah, know, that's a massive crane I have. Um... Trewinigan's crane is way too small for this purpose. Uh... That one might be usable for, like, loading the torpedoes. Um, I should look at Atlanta. Um, she, it looks like Atlanta's main crane was good for the torpedoes, but I'm not going to have that luxury here. So I feel like I would need a couple of smaller cranes. Probably about here-ish. Maybe here. So that would haul the torpedoes on board and load them into the front end of the tube. Um, that work? I think it would work. I think that is doable, especially if you, you know, can turn this a little bit. Yeah, it should work. So I can have that set of cranes there. I'm going to need a set of cranes there. Um, but we need another crane. Okay, so this is a smaller version of that. Oh, yeah, that was a work in progress. Um, so the illustrious cranes, which aren't good. We got the Creston. So got the British Columbia crane, which is a little bigger. Similar version of the one I just used. Got... The big cranes on St. Lawrence and Alberta. Domital boats, PEI aircraft. Yeah, that's a big one. Do I have any other cranes? Bridge Columbia aircraft crane. That one might be good, actually. Um, problem is where to put it. So we need to be able to successfully pick up an aircraft and load it onto that thing. So... Could this crane do it from this position? Uh, maybe. I feel like if I put it here... Do it here. Um, angle control. That's probably doable, but I probably want to, uh, change the angle a little bit at the top.
Actually, this would be a good crane for the torpedoes, so never mind on these. <coughs> I might try... Yeah, I might need to get two of these in. Even though there's only one catapult. Maybe I should look at... Uh... Okay, so Dito doesn't have a float plane. Which uh, help me in the slightest. I don't even think the Dito, at least the Dito model I'm looking at, doesn't even really have cranes on her anywhere. Which is odd. Alright, so I need to look up uh, what cruiser now? Town class cruiser? <clears throat> what cranes do the towns have? Uh, 19, 36, 36, not 39, you moron me. Um, okay, I see the sort of crane they had, and they did have two of them. Okay. So, I'm getting rid of this crane. I think... So I want uh, stuff in here. Probably want the crane illustrious boat or indomitable boats. Probably my best bet. And that versus PI aircraft is uh, uh that. So this is a smaller version of that then. Um, indomitable boats. So then that probably needs to go up higher, actually. I think that could get aircraft on. Well, if I put it there, then pitch you back. Angle control. Okay, yeah, that could definitely do it. from this position to um, Aloha. I'm going to move it out a block. And back a block. Watch it function, right? Yeah, that functions. Alright, cool. Just uh, take this then. And does that work for the torpedoes? Oh yeah, completely. And raise it to 45. Take. Take you, raise you to 45. Spin you. About 30. What about negative 30? Negative 2.5. That kind of gets you more out of the way of that. Uh, a director. Two zero. Not two zero, probably a little better. Okay, so that would allow. F I think those cranes would allow for float plane operations pretty well. I think th I think those would be able to do it. Be able to handle it. Okay. Now, can I still get through that? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. And then... that in. Do that. Okay. 
That's looking pretty good. <clears throat> still gotta get the mask done, still gotta get the aft superstructure worked out. Um, lots of details which still need to be put on, but, you know, she's looking like a cruiser. Alright, we gotta get secondary guns on too, but... I think it's better if I, uh, start working on the masts. Um, that being said, I am starting to have, like, some voice issues and some throat issues, so I'm very strongly considering, uh, stopping at this point. I didn't want to, um, but my body is forcing it. God damn it. Um, hmm. I want to get the mask done, though. I want to get the mask done, I want to get the radar on the mask done. But after that's done, I think I am unfortunately going to have to call it just to, because of how my body's doing. And, uh, how my throat's doing and such. Okay. Where is it? Where's the piece I need? Okay, so this would be where I put the radar on. Um, and I think in terms of radar... I'm trying to think what the best radar would be. I wanted to be somewhat consistent, so I've had like this radar set. Um, I'm looking at, say, a Ju uh, Juno class. It's a very different radar up there. Um, hmm. <clears throat> uh, I'll, try, I'll try to look up an ANSG six search radar. Didn't help, didn't help. That's what I was looking for. I'm trying to think if there was a better way to get what I'm looking for now. And the typical radar shapes I have. But I might just use one of those. Like, uh... I know, why, why did we scroll up? I need to go down. Okay, so, in terms of radar... Oh, is that... Okay, so I assume this is... Okay, that's that radar piece. That's that radar piece. This one is that radar piece. There would have to be another thing behind that. I'd probably have to move that to the forward position. Makes some. I think it makes some sense in the forward position, but uh, 
I am gonna build it in the forward position. I'm gonna need to take you, you, uh, reset you, and take that to point six. And then have a second radar set, um, down here. Probably. And I will have to support that a little better. At a minimum, get that out to it. Do this. Okay, this guy here would probably be more like eh, probably more like that. Eh, we could do this. Or, you know. It would actually probably be better to just go back like this and do this. You can get that second in, or little extra antenna in there. I'll put that in and uh Actually, you know what? No, hold on, hold on. I'll just do... Mimic Alloy. Plate Triangle. And that was pretty easy. So we'll have to uh, better support that later. Um, unfortunately, currently my throat is dying. So I am going to have to call it here. I cannot one live stream a cruiser. I can definitely two live stream a cruiser. Um, if my throat did not feel the way it was, I could probably one live stream this. Um, although I think it would take until probably about the eight hour mark. Eight or nine hour mark. Um, if I hadn't gotten, you know, tired beforehand. Oh, had issues uh, completing it before and had to constantly be right back. Um, it probably could get down to eight. So yeah, uh, that is Coquitlam in her current state. I will continue to build her next live stream, hopefully in a couple of days. I might, I might give this one a little bit of time because of my throat. And yeah, um, as I grab some images of her, uh, I will see you guys next time. Oh yeah, I should probably uh, do the social stuff. Uh, so um, I got links to my Discord down below. Uh, if, if you're watching this on either YouTube or Twitch, um, it'll be up on YouTube. I would say in a few days, but um, possibly in a month, given my uh, given my record on things. Uh, I do have a link to... If you're on Twitch, I have a link to my YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I have a link to my Twitch. Um, it would, you know, YouTube and Twitch link would be redundant on their own sites, but on the other sites, you know, it can, it can get you to the boat to the other one. I upload the streams on YouTube and uh, stream the original streams on Twitch. And of course there are um, replays of pretty much every live stream I've had on uh, Twitch. Um, there's a few where if, it's like if I felt I'd need to censor some piece of information, I'll pull it down and then upload it to YouTube or plan to upload it to YouTube and never do that. Um, we'll technically upload it to YouTube but leave it unlisted. Uh, <clears throat> And, uh, I think I have links to my Twitter. It really doesn't matter anymore. Um, there's, there's no ship stuff on Twitter. It's all... It's arguments about rockets. You don't want to go there. Alright, um, I, th I think that's... I think that's the end of it. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? <coughs> Bye!
cannot be good for my throat right now. I did it anyway, though. Alright. Yeah. More from those later. Bye!